Welcome to the stronghold. Okay, Curse of Strahd. So we just finished up at the winery, the Wizards of the Wines. Uh, just, just, just quick hold up. Um, Jason, do you want to get onto the Siren's Gate? Oh, yeah, better set that up. How was that? Music. Yes, so we share the music now. We we'll finally worked that out, but um, the links are in our chat. So you download it first and then link it up. Just need to give a shout out once you've um, joined the game, so because we need the seems like we need to restart the service every time someone joins, <laughs> oh, it stops. So. What do you want? Attention. Mm. <laughs> no. Okay. So, what do I want to do now? Alright. Okay. Uh, now, you've got a link, so, so hit the join game. game. Well, oh, usually join, join game, 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 I should say that Sean also had it set in there. Oh, yeah. I know what it Uh -huh. Yep, I see you. Okay, can you hear music? Yes, now I do. Okay. Oh, oh shit, that's loud. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've got mine down like 15% at the moment. Yep. And mm -hmm. even then, I'm like, uh, maybe I need to drop a little more. <clears throat> is, is it on the Discord or is it on the web? Play on the web, the web that little uh, play, play window. window. Yep, the pop up, it's got a little dragon on it. So, you've been tasked with doing the latest deliveries of wines to Kresk and... What was the other one? Valakai? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah first time just, just outside of Valakai. Correct. Okay, and currently, Joska is not with you. 
Joska, is that correct? <laughs> so I believe you're heading there to get your fellow companion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. First, so you'll head to Kresk first off. Yep. Okay. Alright, since you've got the horses and you've got the carts, make it all the way back to Kresk with no issues. Okay, make your way up to the gate. What do you do? You got the big gates in front of you. <clears throat> yes. Um, who are we delivering this to in Crest? Or the inn? Well, you can't even get inside yet. You haven't been inside. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, who are we delivering it to? Did, did we get the uh, taking? Technically, the Baron. The Baron. Okay. okay, well, yeah, we'll hail yeah, we'll the guards at the gate, gate and, um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll hail the guards at the gate and, um, you know, ask for entry for the wine delivery. Yeah, so Dimitri makes his way, bills to the guards, open the gate, and he heads outside and inspects and it's like, nods at you, it's like, ah, a job well done then, I'm free to come in. It will take the wine off your hands as soon as you get inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, oh. I, think I think some of the wine, wine is before Kresk, isn't, isn't it? it? Correct. Yeah, we've got, how many barrels do we have for the next delivery? Um, one, I believe. It's just going to the outside of Balakai. Okay, okay, so we'll just mm. take the one, the one, one barrel and the two, two druids. druids. And leave them in the car, I guess. Yep. Uh, and whilst we're here, we should, we should inquire if uh, there's any druid, anyone who speaks druid, druidic in this um, settlement. Uh, no, no, we're quite um, sheltered here. We don't usually leave this area. We only know the one language. Fair enough, fair enough. Um... Okay, okay, so I guess so we're also looking for um, Joska here. Yeah, we're just find Joska and Irina. Yep, uh, they are on their way. They were staying at my mansion. Which we do have rooms for you as well if you plan on staying, but uh, we do expect you to help out around the town if you do. Uh, help out how? Uh, yeah, menial tasks, chopping wood, collecting food. Hunting, that sort of thing. Don't exactly trade in gold here. Well, uh, we've got the delivery to do. We can definitely come back after the delivery, but, uh, yeah, potentially we have assistance. Irina saying? Um, good question. Oh, you sent that straight to me. Okay, I see what you mean. Uh, how did you send it straight to me? I don't know how to do that. Slash W, space, space name, space, name, space ah, yeah. Yeah. Except it does show up in the recording for all of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's oh, <laughs> yeah, everyone can see it on the screen. <laughs> it's annoying. I was just asking him, like, uh, did you just just learn anything, anything while he was... was uh, staying the night with Irina, just so like, like when you come, come and talk to me, I can be like, oh yeah, I can talk about the people inside and stuff like that. They're, they're very uh, wary of you, basically. They're not okay. too used to strangers, but um, they do seem nice and no issues talking to them or what's anything really. Easy to work with them. Hmm. Okay. Irina staying? I mean, do we trust? The town, and like, do we think she's gonna be safe if we leave her here alone? Guess I'll ask Joska. Yeah, yeah, I'm with them now. Are you sorry? 
Have I, I found, found the group or have they found me? Yes, they have. Yep. Oh, You're right, back right, with right. them. Yep. Oh, hey, guys. Hey. Hello. 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 Hey. Hey. <laughs> how hey. Are, how, how are you? Uh, eventful. We've got, we've got two. two. <laughs> Doesn't like <laughs> one of them have antlers? And... Yeah, we've, we've got, got these two guys wearing like animal skins, skins tied up. One, one of them has antlers. antlers. Okay. And we've got okay. a big, big barrel of wine. What, what's, what's the story with the tied up guys? Druids. They were druids. Yep. Druids. Okay. okay. They, they don't, don't seem to like wine. wine. No, 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 I'm not going to say evil druids. I'm just going to say that. They were impeding the deliveries of goods. Okay, okay. adversarial okay. goods, okay. <laughs> uh, so, okay. we're trying to find someone who can speak for a week. So we can understand what they're actually trying to do. That could be difficult. Um, in my time in this town, the people have been rather untrustworthy of us. They don't seem to like outsiders. But, I do think they are trustworthy. They seem nice and honest. So, um, we can make this delivery. Maybe they'll, it'll win their favor for a little bit. We should be able to find someone to help us. Uh, uh, let's, let's solve. solve. Have I learned where the Baron's house is to drop the wine off? Oh, the wine? Yeah, they, the no, guards no, have no. already assisted with that. They've oh, taken awesome. it off. Yeah, we've, we've turned that wine over already, but we should explain. We have been asked to make an additional delivery back at Balakai. Of what? Of the wine? No, of wine. This last barrel of wine. Hmm. Uh, I'm not going to read on how defensible I think this town is. Like, if we leave our in here, do we get the vibe that she will be safe? Or... Like, what's the guard situation? Yes, they're quite well supplied. They've got everything fortified and everything's manned properly. You haven't seen the place got attacked at all while they were gone, so... And while you've been here, have you noticed anything that you think will be of use to us or that we should investigate while we're here? Uh, I have not, not unless Sean has told me otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no. Not that he knows. It's all pretty straightforward there. Yeah, yeah look, if, if if Strahd wants Irina, then there's, there's no place, place in Barovia that she'll be safe. But of, of the, the places place we've been to, I think this is the safest place, place that we've seen. Yeah. yeah. If, if we, we can, can find, find any lid at all in Saint's, Saint's Bones, bones that, that would be great, because I, I think if we could... Get, get those installed, installed somewhere. somewhere. Cool, cool, but... Yeah, yeah I, don't I don't think we have any idea where those are done. Nah, no, no, just the leave them cold. Okay, okay so, so to, uh... To Valakai, the wine? Is that, that the next thing we do? Or do we want to go, go speak, speak to the Mad Range again? again? Uh, I don't know that he's ready yet. Sorry, so we got a map. One second. That's what I should have done. There we go. You see Kresk. That helps. Uh, oh, it's smaller than that as well. Hmm. Yeah, so well like fortified against the hill. Right. It's got a nice big wall. Yeah. Okay. Also, there's a small wall. There's a. I think that's a cliff. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah. I can get. Oh, oh yeah, the little park goes up. Oh yeah. So, so uh, I believe, believe there's, there's also, also a toy maker. maker. We want, want to have, have a talk with. with. Yes. 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 We'll, we'll have a chat with the toy maker. <laughs> Alright. Heading off? Uh, are we are heading, heading over or are we going to have, have a look at this, this town? town? Uh, was the toy maker in this town? No, no he's in. Um, oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, I'm using the we're making the next delivery. delivery. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Who am I missing? Like, like, missing someone's character? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I mean, Revere. Revere. Yeah, it's Revere. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're right. Our, our drunken master monk is probably just passed out in the car. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> but didn't, didn't we have a spare barrel as well? Oh, yeah. He got his own cast. Nice. 
Yeah, yeah. that's why he's back here. Yeah. Well, well he's, he's here, here. He's, he's just, just not vertical. vertical. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, well, yeah, yeah for a comfortable uh, living room here, here. Um, um, this does seem like a fairly, fairly well defended well town. Well, well, as much as you can, can from flying monsters. Yeah. Mm. Okay, cool. So, we'll go to the next delivery and then we'll, we can come back here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah there doesn't seem to be any obvious side quests, quests here. We've, we've got, got other jobs we can do. do. Well, let's at least get this wine out of the way and have a chat with this toy maker. Alright. Okay, get them back in the... The horse is going, your wine's ready, you got your druids in the back and you head off. Yep. While we're travelling, are we seeing ravens flying around or something? Because we were told two of the sons would like be watching us or following or something. Oh, one of the sons well, is driving the cart, I'm assuming. Oh, okay, cool. Um, Great. What's his name? So, I do think you left a uh, character behind. The oldest son came with you to drive the cart. Okay, great. So he can look after it if we make the little delivery and decide we're done then. Great. Um, Adrian, his name is. Elvir is watching over. Which is the younger son. Okay, heading down Old Svalich Road on your way to Balakai. You hear a rustle in the bushes. Roll for initiative. Uh -huh. For Liriamus, eleven for Erebal. Why didn't that transfer across? That's annoying. Um, Seventeen for Addison. Yep. And Strix got twenty-five. Yes. Why did I get twice? A couple people did. <laughs> and Revere is not here. Twice, yeah. Revere is too drunk at the moment. Okay, Strix is the first to notice that you see uh, werewolves coming out of the bushes towards you. Mm -hmm. I uh, I go into my quiver and I pull a silver arrow and knock it. Yep. Um, I don't know what the silver actually does, but I assume it's going to be better than a normal arrow. Yeah, we were told silver mm. weapons are good, so that's mm. why I kept grabbing them. As a, and I call, I shout, werewolves, and I take aim. Is are they in a particular? Are they all like? Oh, I can see now. Attacking from all sides. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I pretty much the one closest to me. I pretty much take aim at him, and well, I. I will cast the uh, mark. Hunter's mark. Mm hmm. And I shall shoot. Sixteen. Sixteen to hit. Hits. Yep. Pushka. Works. Six piercing. Yeah. Uh, plus the. So D six is in it. I don't know. Beast on your bones. Whoa. Okay. Um. There you go. Uh, yeah, one D six. Sorry. One, two, three, six. So that's the hunter's mark. Hunter's mark. Okay. 
Yep. Um, and is this your special ambush attack? Or say that we see yeah, that one last? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll do a normal one. And now I'll do another one. Oh, uh, does anything happen with the seal? What do you mean? <laughs> well, there's silver arrows. I, I don't know what the effect is. Uh, you um, see him noticeably actually take an action to it, so he's obviously hurt by it. Okay. But you don't so, get any extra damage, if that's what you think. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought maybe, yeah. you know, they just melt or something. Who <laughs> found yeah. me, man? Probably that easy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it works against some, like, normal weapons, because normal weapons don't work well. Mm. Uh, Ten piercing. Another six. Two. So Twelve damage on that one. Done. And then one more. Um, my do you still have a hunter's mark? Yep. Oh yeah, no, that's what you added. Yeah, I just did it. Yep. And right. then uh, my what is it called? Uh, yeah, the ambusher attack. On my first turn, twenty five to hit, I assume that yeah. is twelve and two, fourteen. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, he is noticeably bleeding a fair bit. Nice. <laughs> okay, the one you just targeted, it's now attacking you back. Twelve doesn't hit, does it? No, it doesn't. He misses his bite, and now he's trying to claw you. He <laughs> misses with the claws. Wow. Okay, Joska. Strikes uh, is very small. Yeah. Is duck and weed, man. Duck and weed. Duck and weed. I present my holy symbol and a sphere of twilight emanates from me. I uh, use twilight sanctuary. I gain 10 temporary hit points and it makes the area around me twilight. Okay. Uh, they're going to cast as a bonus action a spiritual weapon. So like a golden sort of man appears behind the uh, werewolf that Strix was attacking and yep. stabs him with a 12? Um, pretty sure that hits. Oh, okay. Hits. Great. Uh, it deals 7 radio, uh, force damage. And then because I'm level 6, I have an ability called Steps of Night. So when I'm in Twilight, um, I can my, have a flying speed equal to my walking speed. Okay. So I'm going That's to cool. walk 15 feet directly upwards and then 15 feet like kind of and float above strings okay i imagine you do that like uh minecraft you just take <laughs> <laughs> just, <on the> <laughs> yeah. just like just little like little like pixelated like little steps like yeah, yeah, just <laughs> cool that's my turn okay done Let you see is this one over here is attacking moving forward to attack erebol Okay. okay, something's wrong with my rolls. I've rolled three nat ones in a row. Uh, the curse has been passed down. Both attacks miss. I'm okay with this. Okay. This one moves into attack Erebal as well. This doesn't hit, I'm resetting my browser. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, keep it open. Oh okay, yeah, 17 to hit. That's better. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that gets me. Okay. Uh, 7 piercing damage and a constitution saving throw. Okay. Pretty sure you know what that's for. <laughs> yeah. That's a save, you're fine. Okay, second attack. 
Does not hit. Erebal. Okay, I'm not feeling too happy about this. Uh, I'm going to invert all my colours and go full scary Galadriel and cast Cause Fear on these two werewolves that are attacking me and um, this one just below. Yep. So they all need to give me a DC 14 wisdom save. Wisdom save. One on the left fails, one on your right fails, one to the south fails. Excellent. They're all afraid of me now. Okay. So, I mean, the ones in combat are still in combat. They can't approach any closer to me, but they can already reach me. But they, they you know, have disadvantage on basically everything as long as they can see me. Okay. But then at the end of their turn, they can uh, test again to break out of it. Right. Excellent. Okay. Aragorn, you gain 10 temporary hit points at the end of your turn. Oh. Nice. Alright, so this one's turned, but he can't, they can't get closer to you, can they? No, he can't move any closer to me. I guess he can try to circle around to reach somebody else, but yeah, I'm very scary. That's what he's doing now. Um, what's his speed? Goes over here. Yeah, and that's all it can do. Can't do anything from distance. Okay. And this one will move oh, yeah. in to attack Joska, but Joska's flying, so he's underneath Joska. Oh. Like a dog trying to... <laughs> 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 oh, God. Tend to hit Joska with a bite. Uh, no. How did he hit me? 15 feet more? Oh, sorry. Strix. He's attacking Strix. Oh. Yeah, he's not attacking. Uh, 15. Uh, no, is that yes, one that's ten. afraid of me? Oh, no. This one's up here. This one was up top. Okay, yeah, he's coming from outside. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 13 to hit with the claws, Strix? No. No. That won't work. Leroy Armas. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to... Draw my long sword. Wrong screen. Wrong screen. I'm going to draw my long sword, my greatsword, and charge into uh, this one here at the back. Yep. So. Does not hit. Oh, second action. Hits. Nine slashing damage. Nine slashing damage and. Uh, Shy action, action surge. No, I don't think I need to just yet. Okay, cool. Well, that was my turn, I guess. Yeah, you're getting 10 temporary hit points. Okay, Strix. Okay, uh... I will put another arrow in this guy in front of me. Yep. 15. Hits. Six, six piercing. Two. How many silver arrows do you have? I've got like 20. 20, okay, cool. So that's one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, I've picked up 20. Uh, He's looking near death. He's not looking good at all. Bleeding out everywhere with multiple arrows, silver arrows sticking out of him. I will. One more. Does not hit. And then my bonus action, I will disengage. Will that help me at all? Mm -hmm. I suppose it will. I'll disengage. How far can I go? Disengage. I don't know. My walking speed or running speed, is it? Yeah, I think you do your. Is it 25 feet? Yep. Yeah. How far is that away? Uh, that'd be five squares. Okay, so I can go right here, can I? 
Yeah, let's go with that. Technically, this map's 50 feet a square, but yeah, let's just go with that. <laughs> we'll say yeah, we'll it, say it's a small yeah. stretch. Yeah, we'll just pretend we've zoomed in. Yep. Okay, I've backed <laughs> off away behind. Who is this? Whoever is in front of me. Liriamas. Liriamas. Behind Liriamas. Okay. Take me. <laughs> uh, the one attacking Strix has now turned to attack Liriamas since he's run away. Let's hope I roll better now. He's 21 um, to hit. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> For 8 piercing damage and a constitution saving throw. Which is a fail, I believe. Yep, okay. fail. And you're now cursed with lycanthropy. I'm good with it. Still am already. <laughs> you still are. So <laughs> yeah. Does nothing then. Uh, 20 to hit with the claws. Yeah, okay. That hits. Uh, that'll be 7 slashing damage. Joska. Okay, uh, I'm going to hover... Five feet across, and my golden man is going to stab and us. Yeah, I'm attack the the boy with the red thing on it as a bonus action. Spiritual weapon does fourteen hit. And if it does, it's six force damage. Yes, it does. Which one are we hitting, sorry? Uh, the this one, one was damage yep. with the arrows in it. Mark. Six. Done. Is he alive? He's alive. He's okay. not looking like he is alive, but he's alive. <laughs> I'll throw out a chill touch. Uh, 21 damage. Okay. You absolutely massacred him. He didn't have anything left. I only did 3 damage. <laughs> yep. That was enough though. Okay, great. That's, that um, was enough. <laughs> he was on one hit point. Um, yeah. I'm going to stay around. Yeah. Within, 30 feet, with, within 30 feet of everyone except for Okay. okay. Actually, this one's down here attacking Erevol with uh, disadvantage. Right. Uh, he's trying to bite you first. Ah, uh, 13. No. Yeah, they both came through 13. Um, claw attack then, disadvantage. 15. No. Okay, and now he is save. It's a wisdom. Yes, still fourteen. And he passes that, so he's broken free. Damn. And now the other one on the theory. other side. Disadvantage attack with a bite. For ten, does not hit. <clears throat> now with the claws, disadvantage. Fourteen doesn't hit either, does it? No. Oh. Now is wisdom save. And he fails that. Erevol. Mm. Erevol's doing alright for two on him. <laughs> yeah, I guess my turn. I'll start stabbing the one that's not afraid of me anymore. Yep. Hit. Does a 16 hit? Yep. Cool. Seven piercing. Seven piercing, don't. And it's a magic weapon. It's a magic. So. Plus one. Yeah. Dear hits. Okay. And. Five damage and. Uh, yeah, you know what? As a bonus action, I'll. Explode into snowflakes and scream at the one that's not afraid of me anymore <laughs> to try and scare it again. Yep. Um, so it needs to take a DC 14 wisdom save. Fail. It is now scared Yay. again. <laughs> so now, both, it's only afraid of me for one. It doesn't even need to test. Just at the end of 
Uh, it's next turn. End of my next turn. Your next turn. It's no longer afraid of me, but at least they're both afraid of me for now, so they're not going to come any closer. Okay. Next turn. Yeah. Excellent. Um, it's this werewolf's turn, and he's attacking Liriamus. The button. Can he see me? This one? Maybe. Yes. Uh, he's not facing your direction, so no. <laughs> okay. Cool. That's a negative two hit. That doesn't hit. Uh, claws. Rolling terribly today. That's a bit better. 22 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Seven slashing. I'm gonna use a psionic die to mitigate as much of that as I can. Yep. Oh, look nice. at that. <laughs> that works fine. Okay, this one's moved into attack Liriamus as well. Um, 15 to hit. Doesn't hit, does it? Nope. Does not hit. Claw attack. 22 to hit. Okay, yeah, that hits. For 8 slashing damage. And. Oh, I'm gonna do that again. There we go. <laughs> Everything blocked. Yeah, Leary Armors. Right here. Uh, the first one that attacked me is going to be on the receiving end of uh, first greatsword attack. Yep. 22 to hit. Hits. 13 damage. Yep. Second attack. 18 to hit. Hits. 14 damage. Done. Yep. Is it dead? No. Action search. Where is it? Where's action search? Right? So action, action search. Does action search give me both attacks again? Yes, you can take the attack action, which is two attacks for you. Yep. Hits. Hits. Yep. Nine damage. Done. Still alive? Yeah. He's what? looking fine. Nine to hit. Does not hit. Oh, wait. Was that nine to hit? Yeah, it doesn't yeah, hit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep, that, that is my turn. Strix. So, um, when Clear Armors. It's the werewolf. Does it actually do any damage? Yeah, a bit. A bit? Yep. But not as much as you would expect? No, the wounds are a lot smaller and a lot less blood coming out as such, yes. Okay. Um, these two... Uh, Let's see. Oh, oh, look. Look. Yeah, these two here. Yep. Are they within... Let's get me... Uh, within... What, 10 feet of each other? 5 feet? No, 5 feet of each other? Which two? These two? These... No, these, these ones. Ah, uh, no. There's a gap in between them. Okay. Probably. Uh... I'll just hit this guy here. Yep. With... Just a normal arrow, I think, yeah. Ah, uh, well, uh, a silver arrow. Silver, yep. 25. Hits. Nine pieces. Oh, I've remarked also. Uh, I've changed the, my hunter's mark onto that one as well. Yep. Yeah. And... So, nine, plus the, uh, six. On that one, and then another one. Uh, yeah. Eight. Hits. Six. Piercing. Hard to spot. Six. Bang, bang, bang. Nice. And 
Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, same as before, I guess. Uh, I'm going to throw out a spiritual weapon against the one that triggers this attack. Hits. Ooh, this one does 8 force damage. 8 force, yep. He's not looking too healthy after that. Cool. I'll try to finish it off then with a chill touch. 16 to hit. Hits. 11 necrotic damage. 11 necrotic damage. He's still up, but he's not looking too good at all. Okay. I forgot to mention, but um, Strix and Laramas both get 10 temporary hit points because they're within 30 feet of me. I'm going to float over to. Um, Aragorn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, that's my turn. Uh, pass. Okay. CNE, it's these ones' turns. But he's still afraid, so he can't move forward to attack. That's right. Shake it, no, no, I can't hit him. <laughs> Get okay, the spray <laughs> 16 to hit. Hits the rounds. Four piercing damage. Tim there. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yep. Four piercing damage. Bad hit, hit it with claws. Ah, uh, for nine, which doesn't hit. Okay, next one's turn. It cannot attack Erebol. It's still scared. Runs up here to attack Strix. Eighteen to hit Strix. Yep. Six piercing damage. Yep. And a Constitution saving throw. Eleven is a fail. You now lycanthropy. Uh, again. Uh, again. Eighteen to hit with the claws. Yeah. For nine slashing damage. And he has to do his wisdom save to try and break free. Eleven doesn't break free, does it, Erebol? No, no, it's a fourteen. Fourteen. 14. Okay, it's your turn, Erebol. Nice. Uh. So, we're just going to say, each tick I can move is five feet? Yep. Oh, yeah, okay. square. Let's just go there and come marching down the road. I'm just going to point my sword at the, I think it was this one that I've already stabbed. Yep. I've done some damage to it. Um, I'm just going to be like... Yelling at it, and my words will reverberate through it, and it needs to take a DC 14 wisdom save. 20. Okay, um, yeah, 20 will do it. it it's okay. Okay. Right. That's my turn. We will. D. Which one was D? Is I moved up the top. It's the one with the hunter's mark. Losing tracks, they've all moved so much. Um, it's attacking Leroy Amos. Fifteen to hit. Claws. Twenty-three to hit. Unfortunately. <laughs> Eight slashing damage. And this one's also attacking Liriamus. 22 to hit. Yep. Four, four slashing. Attacking with your claws. 19 to hit. Yep. For seven slashing damage. Liriamus. Um, okay. I'm gonna... Keep going on one that I was attacking beforehand. Yep. So, break sword. 
Hits. Okay. Nine damage. Yep. Second attack. Hits. I think it hit. Ten damage. How do you kill it? Uh, a cleave it head through midstern from a vertical strike. He's dead. Okay. And then I am going to, in my bonus action areas, use second wind to recover 12 hit points. Okay. New round. Okay. So you hear a howl in the distance coming from the northeast. Strix, your turn. North east. Okay. I will put another arrow into the hunter's mark one. Hits. Seven piercing. Three. Yep. Ten. So, and then I will put a snaring strike. Oh no, I can't do that because I've got to concentrate now. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, shit. Um, then I'll just put an arrow in. Uh, yeah. I'll put another arrow into it and then I will. Duck and roll away from this one that's engaging me. Okay. It's all piercing. <clears throat> Alright, he is bleeding yeah. profusely. And then I duck and roll this way. Hey, Joska. <clears throat> cool, cool. Um... They're almost done, um, just two left, so uh, I'll... See three left. Yeah, yeah three, three left. left. I'll fly and I'll land next to the two of these ones here. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll throw it over to a second to start with. 26 to hit? It's... Pretty high. Are you hitting the um, Hunter's Mark, or...? Eight. Force damage against the one in the red? Yeah, one in the red. Uh, he is dead from that. Force damage kills him. Cool. Falls to the ground. Uh, I'm going to turn to the one to my left, just right next to me there. Yep. And I'm going to cast Command. Uh, he has to make a saving throw against 16. Wisdom. Wisdom. And I tell him to. 18. Wow, okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. Alright, uh, and I'm going to pull out a wall as a bonus action and then shield. Just get ready for my lane. That's my turn. Okay. So, let's see, is this one? Liriamus will get an action to attack as he is running away. Okay. Eleven to hit. Does not hit. He is now. He's sprinted off the map. <laughs> okay, next one. Joska and Liriamus will get an opportunity to attack. Uh, I think you get one per turn because it takes your reaction. So I think Jos Joska will get it this time. Ah, true. Yeah, good. Uh, okay. Uh, I could go for more. I have a whip. Somebody use that. 11. I don't think that Does not hit. Okay. All right. In combat, unless you're going to chase them, they're 60 feet away from you now. I, I think we should. Yeah, I'm going to start running after them because they were calling for something. Do you know what we think? I, I think they were called back somewhere. They seem to be running towards the howl. Ah. Uh, in any case, it'd be best to stop them, no? I mean, I got 120 foot range on my Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Yeah, we can pack up a little bit. Okay, Aeroball's turn. I, I guess I'll Eldritch Blast whichever one's in the back. Yep. There's a 13 hit. Hits. Four 
Full force, force damage. damage. And the second, second bolt. bolt. Does not hit. 11 hit? No, okay. Leroy Yeah, I'm going to run 30 feet towards them. Then I'm going to teleport a further 30 feet, so I'm right next to them. <laughs> yep. And in combat with at least one of them. Okay. And I then... Mac with great sorting. Clean hits. Nine damage. Uh, and I'll actually also sign it. Um, yep. Empowered strike. strike. Yeah, I'm an empowered strike. Where is You're rolling a lot of nat ones as well. That was nine to hit. One plus four plus four. You've done a lot of nines. Yeah, I'm rolling like shit. Hmm. Okay, okay, so yeah, here's the... Uh, oh no, that doesn't, doesn't work that way. Okay, never mind. mind. And second, second hit with the um, great sword. Yep. 14 hits. hits. Uh, you're talking about empowering the strike. Um, uh, uh, the, the, well, what I'm seeing here is that it's a, um, it's a ranged attack. No, no, no. If, if it's, it's within, within 30, 30 feet. feet. So, so, if you're in close combat, that is within 30 feet, feet. so oh, you just yes. add your sonic die to the damage. And that modifier actually so that's 10. Extra 10 on top. Done. And then I'll hit the, the second great, ex attack, or great sword attack, which I rolled a 14 for. Hits. 7. 7 match. And I might as well also do some psychic damage on that. <laughs> Another seven psychic damage. Okay. He's not looking too healthy. Okay. Well, that's my turn because I don't have that um, action surge available anymore. Strix. Uh. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll shoot him in the arrow. Yeah. yeah. Hits. Oh, oh uh, uh, marking as well. Yep. Yeah. And he's looking near death. I'll hit him once more. Hits. By piercing. Oh. Just enough, he falls over and dies with that arrow. That's, that's good, good. otherwise, otherwise he's running, running off with quite a bit of silver. silver. <laughs> True. Yeah. <laughs> They're all embedded, sticking out of his corpse at the moment. Uh, Joska. Uh, okay, so there's one left. Uh, I'll just tap it. Spiritual weapon. It's not a good group. Uh, seven force damage. damage. Yep. And I'm gonna. He's within 60 feet. Yeah. 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 So, so I'm gonna cast a command, command on him and, and tell him to approach me. Ah, uh, he's gonna make a wisdom save uh, against 16. <laughs> Failed. <laughs> okay, so he has to spend his next action uh, getting as close to me as he can. Poor bastard. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> And it's his turn. He is now sprinting back. Passing Liriamus, so... Yeah, you can hit it. Well, do, does, um... Yeah, this is a new round. No, I was going to say, does my you know, action disrupt his uh, command? No, it was damage. Okay, so oh. hit. Hits. 15 slashing damage. Okay. Arabal. Oh. So this, so this one, one, this one's not afraid of me, is it? No. They're all dead. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, you know what? I'm just, just going, going to. to... As an action, 
we can go around, around and beat him off before he gets in the little zone, so he doesn't go over or anything. There's DPS race. race. Is he hurt already? A little bit. bit. I can follow. Yeah. yeah. If he's been hurt, then again, again I'm just gonna basically yell elven curses at him and ask him to make a DC 14 wisdom save. Fail. Yay. The. Uh, I'll love it. How do you roll dice? Do you just roll slash or slash yeah. roll? Plus roll, space, space, like 2d6 yeah. plus 4, or whatever. Okay, he takes 19 necronic damage. damage. That's a good roll. Jesus. Okay. As, he is not yeah, looking healthy just... after that. He sort of staggers a bit. Told the dead. That's a strong though. Leroy yeah. Alex. Spell. It's I'm a hand trick. 60 feet. I am going to stroll 30 feet back towards. <laughs> back towards. <laughs> yep. Uh, where, where am I? So, uh, better. Yarish. Yep. And I might as well, uh. Probably something. And I'm going to throw a hand axe at him. Does not hit. Probably better than something to a tree somewhere along the path. Yeah, fair few trees there. Uh, well, I'll grab the other hand axe out as the second attack action. Hits. Eight damage. Okay, he's looking near death after that. Took off one of his ears on the way through. Joska. Wait, do we miss Yeah. I was just there. Yeah, oh, sorry. This was already clicked through, sorry. Yeah, Strix. Yeah. Um. Guess yeah. what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Hits. Oh, he's definitely dead. Headshot. He's down and out. Ping. And combat. I'll be back in one second. Does anybody need a top bar? Who's a... Uh, I mean, just barely. I'll probably be fine. Uh, okay, I'll throw out a mass. I'll throw out a prayer of healing. So everybody heals... Nine? That's not very much. Take me back up to full. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm nice Sweet. That was enough. Thank you, gave me two more than I needed. <laughs> yeah, you gave me three more than I needed, but uh, you know, that's on top of the fact that I nullified what, 20 ish points of damage that was each coming at me, plus um, uh, doing a heal in that fight for another what, uh, 12 damage. <laughs> So, how many side quests do you have left? How many did you use? I used a fair few. I've got three left, I think. Two left. Oh, I mean, I'm down to one spell slot at the moment, so... Oh, my thing's still running, so everyone just get ten temporary hit points in case you get into another convert. Um, I would like to take a short rest when we can. Ideally, uh... yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm... As Warlock, I'm always ready for a short rest. Well, what we can do is we can short rest on the card. Um, Wow, that was a Yes, I'm gonna beat it. And I can recover, um, a sign dice as well, so I've technically got a three. Alright, I don't pick up your hand axes and sort of arrows then. Yep. The axes, sort of arrows, etc. Make sure a few of those arrows broke, Strix. <laughs> I. I shot 12 arrows and I picked up a six. Oh, so it's always half, is it? I'm pretty sure it's always half. I thought it was a roll of the dice. Is it? Yeah, I thought it was a dice roll of the dice. Seems about too many to me, so. Otherwise, you'd run out very quickly. 
What's yeah, the barrel? barrel to check if they're broken or not? Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Check. Um, I'll oh, oh, Let's have a look. <laughs> Back. Um. Oh, oh, if we, we take a short rest, rest temporary hit points persist through, through them. They only get reset on a long, long rest. Hmm. So, so take it ten, ten, ten points. points. We get, get up, back up, and have, have a short rest while we're on the car. Hmm. I like that. That's a good up to search the bodies for you know, anything that, that might give us clues or information or gold or silver, or etc. Oh yeah, do they turn back human when they die, or do they stay in Ah, uh, they stayed werewolves. Okay. But, uh, yeah, Strix, you're all good there. It does say in the player's yeah. handbook it's half. Yeah, half. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm. that's what I thought. Okay. That's what I've been doing. silver arrows. Cool. All right, so easy. Collected Even everything. Even if the shaft's break, is, is it possible for him to just grab the arrow heads so we can make more arrows mm. out of them eventually? Cause... Grab the silver at least so you can reuse it. Good idea. Yeah. I have no issues with that. Yeah, so, so I, I can... can I don't have time to remake my arrows hmm. in a uh, rest or something, maybe? Yeah. Maybe a crafting yeah. check, or... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, maybe some sort of crafting thing I'm going. Okay. Well, being metal, you'll need an actual place to make them, I suppose. Mm. Or just stay somewhere. Might need to recast them. <laughs> Okay, continuing on. Yep. To that random werewolf attack. Random. Yep. So we can take, take a short, short rest while we're on the car. Correct. Okay. Well, let's. Your uh, little buddy's back. driving, so that's all good. Your wear raven, buddy. Yep. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Takes you about three quarters of the day to arrive at. Outside the gates of Balakai. No issues. And if we're coming in from the west gate, should we go to the church first? Or? Oh, I need to reveal area. You haven't taken this path before. Change over to Valakai map. One second. All right, where are you guys going first? Uh, well, to the starting first to um, deliver the. Um, okay, not heading in the town. You're heading to the Vistani camp. Yeah, yeah head to the starting first so I can deliver the wine. Yeah. Uh, why, why can I not, I not see, see anything, anything on this map? Because you're not on it for some weird reason. <laughs> One second. Um, I'm pretty sure the Vistani camp has a map. Yes, they do. Have you guys been there yet? Uh, I think yeah, Strix yeah. has been there. Oh, he yeah, yeah, he, he took, took us down, down there. there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, changing maps. Risen's here. Risen should not be here. <laughs> okay. Can you guys see yourselves? Uh, yeah, I've got some map I can see. This one. Mm -hmm. I'm back, sorry. There we go. Okay. So it's late afternoon. The Pistanis are just setting up for the camp for the night and building a fire. 
Oh, it's a lot of horses. Whoa. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, whose camp are we approaching? The Vistani, just oh. to the south of um, Balakai. Okay. We, yeah, this is where we're delivering the wine. So one of the Vistani sees you coming and approaches you. Ah, welcome to the Vistani camp. What can I do for you? Uh, we've got a delivery from the Wizard of Wine Winery. Oh, we were expecting that weeks ago. Ah, this is most welcome indeed. Please, please unload it. I'll, I'll get my friends. One second. Grabs his friends to help. Unload the one. Like, hmm. Uh, yes, we're really unloading a sec. Yes, there was some difficulties at the vineyard, which is what delayed the delivery. Uh, does anybody in this camp speak the language of the druids? Druids, you say? I can't. No, I can't say we do. Hmm. Just look down. We, we still have them both just probably tied up lying in the back of the car. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Do you know anyone who who does any other, in any towns nearby? Hmm. No, can't say I know the anyone with the druidic language. Have we already asked the madman? No, we yeah. haven't been back to him yet. Hmm. That's how this is. Sad news indeed. I believe everything is in order at the winery now. Uh, for the most part, yes. Ah, good. I don't understand why these druids were causing issues at the winery. Yes. I'm not asking for any knowledge of druidic. I see. Well, as long as the wine is flowing, all is good. You are free to join us tonight. We shall have a feast. We're running low. We're getting a bit desperate there. Probably a wise idea, seeing as the sun sun is getting low. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is, so this, right been, here. this is the next day, right? Like it was yesterday we were at the vineyard? Uh, no, morning would have been. Okay, so this is still the same day. All yep. Right. yep. Good. Yeah, they return to the campfire and start handing out wine, preparing some food. Chill night with Vistani again. Hmm. Uh, if we do take a night here, I can commune with the Morning Lord, and I believe I can get a spell called Tongues, which can give one of us the ability to understand any spoken language. Huh. Yes, that would be quite useful. Okay. I'll need a I need a long rest to, to rearrange spells. I am also uh been bitten by that bloody werewolf again. Oh, both of you are. Okay, so I have... Okay, <laughs> we'll do that first. I would like to cast <laughs> Remove Curse on Strix. Good idea. Uh, would you, would you, would you? I would like to cast Remove Curse on the Thank you. <laughs> Is anybody else here cursed? I know. I cursed you, curse. <laughs> Great. I mean, my, my soul belongs to a, like, evil, immortal, emo team, but I'm good with that. So you're beyond my help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I'll, I'll get to wherever I'm sleeping for the night and then begin, like, I'll meditating, be. I guess. Oh, uh, I guess I'll, I will call everyone together. It's like... Oh, okay, cool. Last time we were here, because if you want to go see if the Mad Mage might... No thing. Oh no! If we're gonna cast this tongue spell, we can speak with them. But I'm now remembering. Last time we were here, they told us about an amber temple, which uh, I mean, it's rumored to be able to return the land to where it belongs. We'd be able to leave. Like they said, if we came back and met with them, they'd be willing to send people with us to go to this amber temple. Is that something we want to look into now, or do we have other things to do? in the short term. 
I remember someone telling me the amber tempo was like super dangerous. I don't remember who told me that. Uh, but, that might be your local knowledge. Uh, so we should maybe wait on this. Maybe. It's definitely something we want to get to eventually, though, I think. Well, uh, yes, this is ruined to be something that would allow us to leave. Yes, I would like to go there at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Depending on the level of danger that, uh, that we face because of it. I think we were speaking to someone and they said that... It might have been Strahd who said this, that he himself was cursed by something at the Amber Temple. Which I might have got it into my head that then, like someone even stronger than Strahd resides there. I have no idea if that's true or I'm making that up. I remember that yeah, he was also cursed and isn't able to leave. Mm. But, yeah. Did he tell us about the Amber Temple? Uh, well, we heard about the Amber Temple at first from them here. Okay. Um, uh, he told us that, um, yeah, the gods of this place have gone quiet, and that there are no gods in this land. Well, Amber Temple definitely gives me god vibes. There's something suddenly religious or spiritual there. I don't know, what's on our to-do list right now? I mean, speak to a toy maker, maybe go kill some hags, I think, um... Yeah, the Rare Armist was telling me about his... these rules of... these spells of writ, that we have this piece of paper that says the windmill belongs to us. So we may need to... clear those hags away, if we think we're able to do that. Pretty good about us after that werewolf encounter. Yeah. I, 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 I've got some history with hags, but. The laptop. Yeah. Mm, maybe we need to do some. Is get rid of some squatters, you know, in our windmill. Hmm. Yeah, we have the, we have the deed. <laughs> yes. That's it. That's this it. is not magic I'm familiar with, but you say that. This is a pact that works. Um. It's like, yeah, I mentioned pacts and I get a look, it's like, mm, you said you need to, ah, you could prepare an ability from your god that will allow us to speak to one of the druids. Yes, I should be able to do that tomorrow morning. Okay, um, so, yeah. What do we have to learn from them, like, uh, just why they're attacking us? Well, we what don't know were, why. What yeah. they were doing at the, the Wizards of the Wine. Okay. Just why they attacked you, what they were trying to achieve. What they know about these magical crystals that apparently bring life to the land. Something we need to be worried about. Yeah, I just... I'm just gonna... Greater afoot. Look at the Rayamas. Yeah, I feel... We would probably want to question the leader about that, right? Ideally. Yes, we've, we've got the leader and then... The young one that... Is unlikely to know anything of use. Okay, so we'll speak to the druids and, and we'll see where we go from there, I guess. Mm. Sounds good. Alright, yes, um, you should go commune with your god. Great. I will go to sleep, uh, Sean, uh, I'm in bed. My intent is to try to get a long rest as the night passes. Okay. Yes, as the night passes into the next day, I will check the three hours. And... Do you think it is worth having both of them to question? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ideally, yes. I can't wait for me to leave. At least that way they can verify each other's stories. Yeah, I, I can wait. It's alright. Now, I suppose the young one may be more uh, amenable to being convinced to speak. Exactly. Alright. I'll go trans. I call powers. I don't know, we've, we've only just entered a new day. I've got the entire day to find something to freeze. Okay. Yeah, we'll have a long rest. Thanks. No issues. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, I'm dropping healing word for the day, so no one die. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I like all my spells, it's really hard to pick them. Okay, I've got Zone of Truth and Tongues. Dude, oh, oh, that, that's beautiful. Nice. I mean, I can make them afraid of me, but. Yeah. They might get to that in the end, we'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm in the morning. I yeah. look for breakfast. I'm feeling yeah. eggs. It's Dania cooking up a feast for breakfast, so that's fine. Bit of mushrooms, eggs, bit of spinach they grow. Very good. Okay, um, I get something to eat and I, I try to find the group reconvene. So, mm -hmm. alright guys, um, oh, yeah. ready? Um, Who would like to be speaking? Because I can only cast it on one of us and it shouldn't be me, because I am not charismatic. I can be very convincing. Okay. So let me let me reiterate this. The spell grants the creature you touch the ability to understand any spoken language. Moreover, when you speak, any creature that knows at least one language and can hear you understands what you say. So while you cannot speak Druidic, you will be able to understand it, and anything you say, they will inherently understand. Sounds good to me. Great. Oh, so, out of so, so, yes, so, uh, where should we do this? In the car? Yeah, I think maybe away from the camp. They may not appreciate us popping a zone of truth in the middle of their camp. They don't seem trustworthy at all, yeah, they hate that. Uh, I gotta oh. pull that from the back while well, guys. Yeah, that's oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so maybe just probably... head away. I mean, how large is the bubble of zone of truth? It's not too big, if I recall. Let me just double check. Maybe we just kind of... 15 feet radius. That's quite Okay. Cool. Maybe just a quiet part of the camp where we're not going to catch any of the people here, like cast spells on them without their permission, yeah. but not outside, like, their defences. Yeah, we really need to be, like, three squares away, pretty much. Where, where is our car, by the way? Did they take that with the wine? Um, what's well, happening? No, we... no. It's I'm parked over here Adrian. at the moment. It's up here? Yeah. Okay. It's over here, yeah. Alright, this is perfect, this is a great spot for it. We'll do it um, inside the card, yep. away from parking eyes, in case this gets violent. Yep. Um, now, how does this work? I will ask you how it works. Like, if this is when you cast the spell, it affects everything within it. What happens if something's outside the spell and then moves into the range while it's functioning? That's a great question. Uh, the wrong one. My understanding of the spell is that within 15 feet, any creature that enters the spell for the first time can be. Okay, so yeah, it will affect anyone within it. Okay, because I was gonna stand away, let you cast the spell, and then move in to start questioning them, but you know. Well, if they're down, right. we can certainly do it. I could do it like. 14 feet away from them, and you can sort of stand outside the periphery of the circle. Okay. Um. So if I draw a shape and it's like one, two, three. It's about it's about this big, roughly, I think. Like that didn't work. About that pink square, I think. So if I stand here and you stand there, you should still be able to lie. Does that sound good? That seems fine. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, yes, that's not it. So do you want to put tongues on me first, or...? Uh, this lasts 10 minutes, so yeah, I want to do tongues first. Tongues last an hour. Right. I will touch you, and um, some sort of warm glow fills your mind, and you can inherently understand everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We grab the druids and we sort of uh, the cast maybe here, I guess. Separate them. Maybe we speak to the young one first and keep the old one tied up and out of earshot to begin with. You think? Okay. See if their stories match up. Yep. 
I'm just thinking about the old one seems to be the leader. I mean, he does have the largest antlers, so it makes the most sense that he would know the most, but he'd also be the hardest to get to talk. Yeah, okay. So, so maybe uh, try the young one first, and then try the older one. Okay, so we'll get Lear Almas to take the old one, just like, and stand him a beer or something. Yep. While inside the car, we have the young one tied up inside the car. Um, I am standing sort of next to him, and then Nerval's kind of like by us, but a little further away. So he's like slightly outside of you. Yep. So. I think, yeah, so keep his hands bound so he can't move them, but I guess we'll ungag him. Okay. And Strix will just be on the guard, you mean? Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Ready to sock him if he tries to cast anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to leave the car momentarily, walk over here to the center, cast the group, <laughs> then walk back. Yep. And I just should air I've got nine minutes to grill it. Okay. Um, so I guess, Sean, do you want to secretly roll whether he passes his save or yeah. is it C16 charisma, charisma yeah this can be better if we don't know whether he's passed or not I think so yeah that's more fun mm-hmm. he's a druid not terribly charismatic critical role doesn't let me know anything well it, he doesn't seem to bathe so <laughs> I don't know if that's tied to charisma but Alright, um, okay, I think we're ready. Okay, so I'll start speaking to him and I'll ask him, like, what were you looking for in that building where we captured you? Mm, was not looking for anything. What's it to you? Well, we were interested in the wine that comes from that building and your people seem to be destroying or harming the wine. Like, what was the problem you have with that vineyard? Mm, we had no problems with the uh, were ravens. It's, uh, baby Liskar does. And who is that? Mm. Someone who does not like them. Sorry, what? Someone who does not like them. Do you know why this guy doesn't like them? Uh, she is a witch. Um, no, we were ordered to. We, it was either that or perish. I don't think we had much of a choice. And where is this Liskar? Uh, from my world. I don't know where we are now, but from the winery, she lives southeast over the hill. So I would not advise going as the <laughs> raven flies. Is that where the windmill is? Southeast? No. I don't think we've been southeast. The windmill's like northeast. Yeah, I'll be telling. That's southeast from the Ware Ravens winery. He doesn't know where he is right now. Yeah, we, we have kept him in the back of a wagon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, does anybody have any questions they would like to ask? They'd like me to ask this druid? I don't really know where he came from. I wasn't here when you guys picked him up, so I don't know. Yeah, yes, that's right. Yeah. You guys are in the car. He comes and opens this the flap and looks inside. See this guy peering in. Hello, can we help you? Oh. I am just wondering what the ruckus is right outside my place. I'm sorry, are you a Vistani? No, Dusk Elf. Dusk Elf, yeah. Uh, what... Ruckus are you... What, what, what is disturbing you? Well, looking around, he's like... Ah, the interrogation, it looks like. Ah, and a wicked smile goes across his face. Uh, do you need assistance? I think we have this covered. Hmm. Although, 
Have you heard of a witch list card? Uh, yes, yes. High level spell caster, indeed. Wouldn't mess with her. Can you think of any reason why she would dislike wine or wear ravens? Hmm. Not to my knowledge, but she does want power, that is for sure. Seems like a trend in these lands, doesn't it? Hmm. And where do you hail from? Sorry, I didn't quite catch your name. Josko. Kazimir Velikov. Pleasure. Oh, Kazimir Velikov, uh, what brings you so far out of your... Home. Well, we were on the verge of being annihilated by Strahd. My army was... He basically kept me as a prisoner and gave me to the Vistani. I have lived here ever since. It has been many years since that happened. Oh, uh, so you were with the Vistani then? Hmm... Yes, now I am. Are there many Dusk Elves left? Like, you were taken from your land. Are there people still there, or was it destroyed? I do not know what happened to it. I do believe Strahd killed everyone. But there is at least eight of us here now. Maybe more. I haven't found everyone yet. So you have an interest in the destruction of Strahd? He sort of looks around and it's like... I wouldn't say that. There is prying ears here. Perhaps uh, we have more in common than initially appeared. We too have been wronged by Strahd, so to speak. I see. you like to maybe have a discussion uh, in a quieter location at a later point? Hmm. I do have a mission of my own currently. You care to expand on that? I believe I've already given you that information and that mission. We talked oh, last fine. time you were here. I see. Hmm, interesting. You do not recall. We talked about the Amber Temple. Ah, so it was you who told us about the Amber Temple. Yes. We do, do have a few questions on that, if you wouldn't mind. Um, have you ever been to the Amber Temple? I'm curious to what is there, or if any beings reside there? I have been spying on the temple for years, many years. I believe the secret to breaking Strahd's pack and freeing Barovia from its curse may be hidden there. What clue, clues led you to that conclusion? I guess, uh, what makes you think that the key to being free I... is... I believe you can discover there how he became a vampire. I believe it is where he originated from. Wow. Is it dangerous? Very. I cannot enter myself. I will probably need assistance. Is it dangerous because it is guarded? Or because Very much so. More... Mm. Sorry, was that? Yes. Oh. Guarded by creatures? Guarded by Strahd? Strahd and his creatures. Ah, uh, I see. Well, if it bears such secrets, he would probably want to keep them hidden. So, if we could pull together a group of uh, powerful individuals that might give us 
uh, a chance, chance to, to get, get through, through successfully. Strahd himself says he's not allowed to leave Barovia, but the temple that he guards can give us the power to leave. Seems like he could leave himself if he wanted to. Hmm, I believe he is cursed by a higher power. Ah. Why are we doing a count of this higher power of the temple then? Hmm. Like, quite devastating. If it is what cursed him in the first place, it might not be something he wants to mess with. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm definitely, our group is definitely very interested in going to this Ember Temple, but from what you say, it might be hard. Mm. Yes, I do not believe you are ready yet. It's when you are, I will be here or at the temple. Great. Uh, so Casper is standing like right next to me, right? He walked up to where I'm standing. And... Yep. Hmm. Great. Uh, well, um, thank you. This is very useful information. Uh, we delivered wine to this area, but we also have a additional cask if you did. Um, like, uh, yeah, we have a few spare bottles in the cart, you can go grab one, I don't know if you want me to make a deception, or, sorry, I mean, we have bottles, I just don't want him to realise, I want him to walk a little further towards the cart. Ah, see what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to roll deception, or performance, or what? Yeah, I'm sure, if you'd like. Oh. Okay, I've probably seen a bit sus. <laughs> a little too old nose. <laughs> Just stand over there real quick, you don't mind. Yep. No, I think I'll be alright. I do not drink like the Vistani do. Very well. Uh, well, in that case, can I make a uh, intuition check to... Do I think he's telling us to do it? Yeah, give us an insight. Uh, yep. 20, unnatural 20 on inside. To gauge his like facial cues and things like that. You believe he's being honest? Maybe keeping a few things back, but mm. I mean that's fair enough. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, you, you believe we're not ready to go to the temple yet? Do you? Could you give us any suggestions of uh, what skills or possibly tools you think we need to gather or learn before we would be ready? Hmm. Do you have any suggestions of what we should do to make ourselves ready? Yes, more weapons in line with to kill Strahd's minions. Higher magic. Do you think we'll, do you think we'll encounter Strahd himself at this time? He does go there, yes. Okay, so we'd have to be prepared to, but worst case, encounter Strahd himself. Hmm. In that case, we will flee. We are not ready to face him. Would it be best to go in as a small group, try to be stealthy, or should we come with as many allies as we can? This would probably be a stealth mission. Hmm. I'd like to bring the Mad Mage if we could. Mm. <laughs> I'm just... Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, I said that in my mind. Uh, okay, good. Specifically anyone. I'll just uh, talk to myself. Uh, well, perhaps, Casimir, we can call on you and your eight friends uh, when the time comes, perhaps? Yes, quite possibly. I don't think we know the location of the Ember Temple. Um, it, it's near the mountain to the north. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. That's what we were talking last time. Mm. You know where to find me. Okay. Huh? Oh, do you know of any uh, weapons that would be effective against Strider or his minions? Hmm. There is one. What's it called? Uh, uh, the... You've been tasked with finding it. <laughs> yes. I can't remember its uh, name. Sword of Sunlight. Or yeah, something. that's it. The, the Sword of Sunlight. Uh, uh, Strahd fears it. But it has not been seen since the last... Rebellion against Strahd. Is that the one the fortune teller told us about? Yes. Um, and the like reading covers that a woman hangs above a roaring fire. Find her and you'll find the treasure. It's like a burning bitch or something? Okay. 
yeah, yeah. Well, um, the other thing I think of when we were in like Strahd's castle I was looking for you know a big fire with a woman like tied up over it and didn't oh. find one I yeah, can't think of anywhere else that we've seen or heard of yet where we would find her Yeah, he was just burning with it. <laughs> okay. Interesting. You know, religious people. Yeah, we are in any round. Hmm. Should we return? No, I don't want to go back to that place at all. So you definitely didn't no, no. see any, like, fire places or anything over there? Oh, we did. Well, we saw a big, like, burning brazier that, with crystals around it that Basically, we figured out that's a way to teleport to different places, but we decided not to try that out. But no, oh, wait, no, you, you were on a corpse pile when that was happening. <laughs> of course. Yeah. There were no, like, obvious women sort of tied up there or anything, were there? No. Because that wasn't it. Hmm. Okay. We'll just keep an eye out for five places, I guess. What else? We were... Oh, yeah, we'll talk about that later. I don't think we have anything else for Casimir. No, thank you. Um, I will say, yes, don't worry, we will not cause too much of a ruckus by your house. We could move further away if you want. Oh, it is fine. Please, go ahead. I was merely curious. No, fair enough. We were near your home. I wish to be polite. Well, um, sort of, I guess, no, I, I can talk to Vine, like, yeah, Casimir can hear what I ask, but he won't understand the answer, so I'll just go back to talking to the young Drew we have, and I guess, I don't know what else we really want to know about this witch. So, how long has this witch been? Is she a part of the Druids, or she simply threatened you to get you to do something? You're speaking to the Druid again, I'm assuming? Yes. Mm. Uh, she threatened. She is no friend of the druids. Is she an ally of Strahd's? Uh, well, is she an ally of Strahd? <laughs> she likes to think so. <laughs> no, we have no uh, alternative beryllium spheres on the ship. <laughs> no. uh, so I'm thinking the druids are more than ally of Strahd. They're actually like four in each of them. Like, the vibe I'm getting is they're not sort of antagonistic against... Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I guess, guess it is kind of... Yeah, the, the ones, ones we were fighting, fighting there with, they're all dressed in, like, skins, and, like, one had a bunch of, like, moss growing over her face, and, like, they were definitely kind of more, you know, scary druids, but like, that's probably just down to where we are. Hmm... Can I leave now? Honestly, maybe. Like, like if, we, if we let him go, can we sort of leave a message to him to tell him that, like, we're not an enemy with the, the rest of the druids that don't really harass us anymore? First off, what can you tell us about uh, the other one of you that we have taken because he attacked us? The Antlid one. Our leader. Yes. Mm, he's our leader. What more do you want to know? Uh, is he trustworthy if we let you go on the understanding that uh, we have no problem with you? You will go back to your people and we will not have to worry about you attacking us? No, we will move on. We don't want to be in that area anymore. I suppose it's a witch. Uh, is the witch alone? Does she have any allies or servants with her? She has her own minions. Scarecrows, mainly. Mm -hmm. That's why she doesn't like the ravens. <laughs> well... We will have a talk with your leader, and then we can... If all goes well and we believe you not to be a threat, I see no reason why we can't allow you to go to return to your people. 
Yeah, yes, I can't think of anything else to ask. I'm, I'm guessing uh, that's probably been enough time that Zone of Truth is worn out. Maybe, Maybe. Yeah. I can just cast it again. Just yeah, that's what I think you can have a go. Yeah. Do a trade off, deliver this guy to Larry Armas and bring the leader over. Mm hmm. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. I'll walk back to the middle of the circle while Larry Armas swaps the bodies. Yep. Oh, look, the people. They're not bodies <laughs> yet. Yeah, not quite yet. Uh, okay, I'll recast it. Spend his spell slot. I'll come back. Like, yep, all right, well, good to go. Another nine minutes and a bit. Uh, Is that a wisdom saving throw? Uh, charisma. Six charisma. I think you typically have to do the same thing, Addison, <laughs> but if you're not talking to him, it probably doesn't matter. Sorry, what do you mean? Have to do the same thing? Well, you're in the zone, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like when you cast it. Oh, <laughs> I have to draw my. No way, surely not. <laughs> okay, I guess I do. Okay, I'll save against my own stuff. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know oh, that. I have to draw That's okay, <laughs> I can't understand you. <laughs> Alright, so I'll um, ask him. Uh, I want to confirm that you're. Follower was telling us the truth. What can you tell us of why you were attacking the Were Ravens' lands? Uh, we were ordered to. Mm. So that or death. Whom? Uh, the saga. Do you know why the saga wanted the Were Ravens attacked? I do. And why was that? Uh, why should I tell you? Because your life depends on it. Hmm, I see. We were merely a distraction. Distracting from what? Yeah, she wants something from them. Yeah, a gem of sorts. We could not find it though. I believe she was searching for it. Was she with you when you first attacked the vineyard? No, no. The Weaver said that there were five of you when they were driven from their home. We only found four. I do not want, know what to say about this. Maybe they miscounted? Mm. There was only four of us that day that attacked. There is more of us, yes. But it's not there. Mm -hmm. right. um, um, wait, wait, so, so is, is he, he inside, inside the car, or, or we've, we've got, got him just out on the hillside? Do you think? Like, Addison? Oh, uh, I assume he was all in the car. Okay, okay so just... Oh, well, so he, he was, was outside and walked him over here, so I was just asking, like, so, do you know where you are, if you were to be released here, you would be able to get back to your people? Where is here? I see, you're not aware. He's mm. pointing in the right direction. Yeah, you, you're east of where we captured you. Hmm. Very well. Once we find the forest, we will know where to go. Mm. Okay. Uh, can, can we, we ask, ask about this gem that they're looking for? Like, will it be useful to us if we find it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what it is because the vineyard, they said they had like three gems that were like buried in the soil that made the plants grow. Oh, or, like brought life to the area, and that's how they could grow all the grapes for making the wine. So I'm assuming that's what she was looking for. Um, Yes, yes, I will ask the leader, so you don't know 
anything about this gem that Lazar was looking for? No, we could not find it anywhere. And you don't know why she wanted it? Uh, I prefer not to know. Hmm. Oh, could it be bad if she gets it? Uh, yeah, I, guess, um, I wouldn't say bad, but she keeps to herself. Rarely, rarely see her outside her domain. But she seems friendly, or believes that she's friendly with Strahd. <laughs> she thinks so, yes. And what allies, or how do your people see themselves fitting into this world? Fitting in, we tend to the forests. They don't seem alive as they used to be, but we're still there. So, do you have no love for the master of this land? No. Right, and if you return to your people, you will... Just continue keeping the forests healthy. Yes. We'll probably avoid the area around the winery now. We'll head more north, I'd say. Hmm. How, How many, many of you are there? there? Well, assuming... Um, depends, I suppose. I don't know what of my brothers who helped the attack. Um, we were going through the house when you sprung on us. Um, it's, um, there should be at least 10, 15 of us. We usually tend the forest elsewhere. Ah, I'll just play off the earth. They seem uh, standard of the sylvan folk. Care only for their trees. Alright, um. So, if we allow you and your follower to leave here and you return to a forest, you'll find your way back to your people. And you say you will not be a threat to us? Hmm. As long as you leave the forest alone, we won't have an issue. I have no interest in the forest here. Hmm. I have no wish to harm it. Hmm. That's just because I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure they know anything more that we wish to know. We've found out about this new witch that may be a concern, but... Doesn't seem like we can get much useful information. Yeah, yeah. We just kidnapped them because they attacked us, right? That was literally it. We captured them because they attacked us. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't know what else. Yeah, it's kind of I can't think of anything else to ask, honestly, for sure. We'll ask. Um, you tend to the forests, but you know much about the forested areas of this land? You're asking the druid still? Uh, yeah, sorry, going back to the druid. Uh, what is it you wish to know? Ah. Uh, well, I'm wondering if you know... Do you know anything about a woman hanging above a roaring fire? Or a den of wolves overlooking a mountain lake? The latter one would be Lake Baratok. The werewolves have a den there. We we are on an accord with them, but we do not go near them. As for the lady on fire, n no. Mm -hmm. 
How many wolves are in the dead? dead the, the, as far as you were, or, or was there a leader? Oh, hey. <clears throat> no, yeah, do you know? Yeah, yeah. we will ask him about the werewolves if he knows how many there are. Hmm. At the last meeting we had, they had 30 in attendance. You, you meet with the werewolves? Oh, we did, when we made the accord. Which accord, and how does one make an accord with the werewolves? Uh, it's a peaceful treaty, basically. We live in harmony. It's we avoid their area. You know what reason they would have to attack people who are not in an accord with them? Not someone who's moved into their territory, but is simply traveling. Take supplies. but I see no reason why we should hold them any longer. Okay, yeah. I know. What can we do until Tim comes back? Did he want to ask them about stuff? Yeah, I know. I'm trying to all the things we know about to ask about like we have, we've got information about the werewolves, about this new witch. Um, they can't help us. Okay, well, what's with our application that weapon? But assuming we don't get anything else from the werewolves, what do we want to do next? Do we want to do hags next? Do we want to do werewolf then, think... like Barton? Yeah. I think the hags. Yeah, maybe the hags. Oh, wait, do we go talk to Blinsky in the town or? <laughs> Sean, what do you set up for us to go do at the moment? That'll be giving things away, but... <laughs> well, I was just saying, yeah. Yes. Do you have a problem with us going into the town and talking to Blinsky? Um, not at all. You can go talk to Blinsky, absolutely. I do right. believe your next main step was finding the brother, Weraven. Yes, who was also in the town, wasn't he? Correct. Well, he had gone to the town. So That's yeah. what I mainly prep for, so... Yes, <laughs> right, yes, I think we should be going to the town. Yep. And... Is that on the way to the Hags anyway? You're uh, already there. I, I think we're, like, we're just south of town. Aren't we, like... Yep. We're in eyeshot of the town walls at the moment. Mm-hmm. We're, we're in, like, the suburbs right now. You can see the, basically, the town wall and the demons flying around above it. Yes. Remember, there's a secret entrance in one of those houses. No, Strix forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, we also, I think we used it as a secret exit to get here, just to have a conversation before. Uh -huh. I don't know. Do we care so much if? Uh... I don't think we need to sneak into the town because they're still relatively happy with us. I was wondering. I think there's probably some of the information we could ask the uh, lady of the Watcher House, because she's fairly well read. If we want to get information from her, unless people don't like her now because she summons demons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What time did Tin leave? Ooh. Anyone take note of that? I didn't know. It felt like half no, an hour ago. Yeah. Okay. Shouldn't be too far um, well, if uh, the hags are something we do, perhaps not immediately, but eventually, I feel like mm -hmm. we could ask the druids a bit what they know about hags, because um, maybe just how to combat them. It does sound like a very scary encounter, so I want to kind of know what tricks they have. Oh, ah, that's prepare. true, because yeah, my knowledge of hags is from a completely different realm of reality, so yeah, okay, I'll ask this druid what he knows of hags, if they've had any dealings with them. They would, wouldn't they? Because they're kind of like weird and woody and. Oh, no. They're like the bad side of nature. Hmm. Well, 
they're not even really about nature, they're just about hurting people. I mean, they live in a windmill, they're in a built-up That's true, yeah. place. Yeah, mostly they just, like, hurting people and making things ugly. Yeah, so I'll, I guess I'll ask this druid what he knows about the hags that live at the old bone grinder. I do not know an old bone grinder, nor any he... hags. Ah, she doesn't know that. Maybe describe it. There's the big, uh, fake tree yeah. that the men, men have made that spins. Oh, on the hill. Um... It? Yeah, it's the tower with the turning arms. Yes, I know of it. It's east of Luna River. Um... No, I've not seen any inhabitants. Oh. I do avoid the st structures that people make mm. as much as possible. Mm. Alright, uh... <clears throat> Although, okay, I will ask then... You made peace accord with the werewolves. Do you have any advice for someone who wished to approach them peacefully or open a conversation with the werewolves mm. well they are very aggressive to anyone not of their own yes we've noticed ah. mm. I cannot give any advice on this matter okay do you know it is possible because they spread their curse through biting. There are, they create more of their kind who are not a part of their group. Mm. How does that work? Do they recognize those? Do they welcome them in as new brothers? If it's in a controlled manner, I believe so, yes. Their pack has grown. Their territory grows too. Do they allow people to join? On their terms, yeah. Like, if we offered, would they allow us to join them? Possibly. I do not know any of other packs in the area. They are the only one. Mm. And if they're so aggressive and opposed to strangers, do you know why they're growing in numbers and spreading their territory? is what they do I do not know them to do anything else can I get some water please sure I like dig through the camp <laughs> pull out a water skin and uh, sort of feed him I just poured it into his mouth Think we're done with them, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm good. I'm have to let him go. I'm just not sure what we do until Tim gets back. Or, or if we do release these two without <coughs> him here to ask anything. Or... Oh, I think we just keep them tied up until Tim gets back and then we just proceed with whatever else we're doing. Because if we keep them in our camp, we can just talk to them like literally whenever. Yep. Um, yeah, I made sure to say, yeah, we would. Consider releasing them if I thought they were no uh, threat to us, but uh, as I said, I'm still in the clear to not release them if I don't want to. But does the student need to be talking to them for anything, or have we answered? Well, the yeah, I, I don't know, so <laughs> I think we've got everything, but. Yeah. I think we've got everything. I think we can let them go. Alright, well, we'll have. I think he would be fine with. With that, wouldn't he? Yep, yeah, okay, so we'll call Liriamus over. If he does have any questions, we can backtrack. No worries. Yeah, we yeah. can. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, so basically, I'll just say That's from the druid, basically, just saying, yeah, so we agree to release you. Uh, you can go back to your forest and be with your people and pursue your goals without causing harm to us. Hmm. This is all a big misunderstanding. We're sorry for kidnapping you. 
<laughs> I'm not mentioning anything about that. I'm just saying, yeah, when we release you, uh, you agree to go back to your life and we will allow you to go back to your life and we will not bother each other again. Uh, do you agree to this? Hmm. Yes, we agree. All right. Then it is pacted. And, yeah, I guess we'll bring out one over. Uh, we can untie them. And the question is, do we give the kid back his stick? No. He no. gave another stick. There's many, there's yeah. many sticks in the forest. Yeah. Well, this, this was a special stick. It was. But... He had a special stick? He had, like, like a magical staff of... Something. It was like this weird, twisty root thing. I'm thinking you can get it off. Did it do stuff, or was it just a stick? It is, a, like, an actual magic staff of some kind of bonuses, but... Oh, I don't know. Sure. It does do stuff. Mm-hmm. Who's using it? Well, no. no one at the moment. We haven't really looked at it. I think you got inspected, didn't you? Did you? Oh, you didn't look at it. Well, we figured out it was a magic staff beyond a regular yeah. spell focus, but we didn't really... Okay. That's okay, we don't have it out in the open where they can see it, so I guess we'll just uh, take them to the... I guess we'll all leave this camp, because we're not just going to release them in the middle of the standard camp. They probably wouldn't like that. We'll go back out onto the road and... Yeah, out in the open, away from both the camp and the town. Hopefully near some trees, like if we're... I'm sure we're near the forest here. It's this one, isn't it? I'm about to share it with you. It's a Galtia staff, is that the one? I can see it in my journal. Are we allowed to read this before I read it, Sean? Yeah, absolutely. If I shared it with you, you got the information on it already, so... Okay. Goldsky staff, requires two men, made from a tree. Makes evil beasts uncomfortable. That's pretty good. Fabric strike, bite lane. But I think we'll, yeah, untie both the druids and just let them return to the forest. Okay, you untie them? Yep. Okay. Oh, my, my thought, sorry, before we do that, my thoughts were, if we're going back to town, we'll just drop them off in the forest, like, halfway. Also, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. We're between the yeah. town and the camp right now, basically, when we get near some near the forest, we'll say, okay, well, we, we can release you here um, yep. to go peacefully and not threaten us in future. Mm -hmm. As you're coming back around to go through the Balakai West entrance, you release them in the forest? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, excellent. After you untie okay. the ropes, they rub their wrists and everything, they look up, it's like, uh, what is your plan now? The leader says. God, I wish I knew. <laughs> Ah, uh, my plan is to leave this place as soon as I am able. Hmm. Very well. Do you have... Do you have any knowledge as to how that could be achieved? No. No. We're assuming we're gonna have to fuck up Strahd at some point. <laughs> Although I'm sure we're probably reaching the end of the hour where we're just not gonna be able to understand each other anymore. <laughs> All right, with that, they walk back into the forest. Cool. Yeah. It looks like this staff is uh, actually meant for like a, a melee character. Because it doesn't do magic, but it does extra damage on hit and it heals you. Yeah. Hmm. Or it lied, it just heals you. And makes evil creatures uncomfortable. Oh, wait, it makes you crazy when you use it. <laughs> Oh, it's like a berserker staff thing. Oh. Yeah, but not in a good way. Yeah, yeah, just crazy. Yeah, I don't know, I've got my pacted weapon and everything. I don't know if I'd be going for <clears> that. I think its main use is the, the warning capabilities. Like you stop trees from fighting you and make beasts uncomfortable. Honestly, I think it's worth holding on to, especially if we're at some point going to have to go talk with the werewolves. Yeah, yeah. 
It could, in theory, reveal hidden werewolves. <laughs> like, if there's a, a werewolf that is evil, but it is in its human form, the staff it's will still be visibly uncomfortable. Technically a beast. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I think so we've released them, we're out on the road. I think, okay, we should probably have a plan. Uh, you, uh, Josco, still seem quite uncomfortable with the new leadership in the town uh what are we hoping to achieve in this we're looking for uh this elder brother of the winemaker and we want to talk to blinsky um should we maybe bring some of our questions to the lady of the watcher house as well mm, my understanding is we only wanted to approach that town so we could find safe refuge for our, you know now that we've secured that i don't know what else we need from the town Yes, well, we did have that kid who was trying to find his way out here, but he seems to have... Uh, yeah, he's actually gone. He, yes, betrayed the uh, agreement we had. Uh, you will have to be brought to account for that. It may have been out of his control. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Fair enough. We made an agreement. He has violated that agreement. Well, judging from his past experiments, he may have been punished already. But uh, if we find his charred remains somewhere, then we'll know. Yes. And I will punish it. <laughs> like, I think the thing I want to do is follow Casimir's advice and then equip ourselves better. So that would entail finding a fire for the sun sort of thing. Well, so, the yeah. There. Or I'm not sure if the fire like, is the important part. It's... The exact words were, was it, a woman hangs above a roaring fire. Find her and you will find the treasure. It's just, I figure, a big roaring fire is going to be easier to find than, yeah. like, the woman who's over it or near it or something. Once we find the fire, we can maybe find the woman and then get the sword. Unless fire is, like, a euphemism for something, like a roaring fire means... I can't think of anything that that would equate to. I think it literally is just a fire. That's been my assumption so far, dear. Mm. First you get the fire, then you get the woman, then you get the sun sword. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so looking out for fires, looking out for Lake Baratox, and yep. looking out for hags. Well, I mean, we know where Lake Baratox is. We got pretty close to that werewolf cave, which we've now confirmed is technically what we're looking for. It's just a really bad idea for us to go there right now. Mm. Where did the man go? He said he had a quest, right? But I don't remember. He's what. looking for his staff and maybe his spell book. Right, he said he didn't need us for that because he was pretty confident. Yeah, he, he's going off and getting his stuff together right. and I think going back to his mansion and then we meet him there when we're ready and we go fight Strahd. This is all coming together. We've got a dark elves, we've got a wizard. Well, yeah, we've got eight elves. I don't know how like powerful they are, but yeah, the wizard seems pretty powerful. Yeah. Sounds like, you know, we're not going to get this witch on side. I've got no idea if we can get those werewolves. We did get a name for them, did we? We did, right? Yeah, uh, Stargo or something. I've got a... Okay. It doesn't really... Saga. Yeah. I don't think Trust would ever heard of that name, so... Yeah, yeah what... I don't know no, if I'm prepped, but I'm struggling to think of why I want to go there. Well, yeah, we're looking for this guy and see if we can get information from the toy maker because he seems to know a few weird things. We don't know why he's making such creepy toys and why he made 100 dolls that look exactly like Arena. I think he's just obsessed. Is there more to it than that? Well, I mean, Isaac was, ex was obsessed, but... Yeah, I don't know. We should find out if Isaac, like, gave this guy exact specifications and that's what he was making it for, but he made those dolls. Also, it's why we're now looking for him in the vineyard, like the winery, in one of the kids' bedrooms. They had, like, a rocking horse that was, like, painted with, like, a flaming mane and everything. It was, like... Had a name written on it. That wasn't a roaring fire, by any chance, was it? It was. <laughs> painted. Basically, it was a rocking horse that's painted like a nightmare. Oh, okay. Like the creature nightmare, not like a. Yes. Okay. Yes, like the 
flaming horse. I don't know if it's undead, but the flaming flying horse. Yeah. My moral compass says do hags first because eating children bad. Well, that's a good way. In order to get the like, we travel through the town to take the road out the other side, so we might as well go through the town first. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's See if we can good. find this brother. Um, so we're still with Adrian for now. He's with us while we're looking for his uncle, I guess, Sean. Looking for the uncle? Yes, like. Adrian is still with us, driving his car. We're saying we're going into the town. We'll see if we can find his uncle, and if we do, I guess he'll drive the uncle home or something. Hmm. Remind me who Adrian is. He is the son of the winemaker. Okay. Who's driving the car to make the deliveries for us. Do we need to take him home at some point? Well, hopefully we can get his uncle, who's a. Apparently, an actual wizard. Right. And then they can safely get home together. I, I, no, I'm, I'm kind of waiting for Tim to come back, but. How long did he say? I don't know. He didn't give us the time. It was just he like just a, said, oh, just a bit. Yeah. He might not come back. <laughs> Did say forty five minutes roughly, which is coming up soon. Okay. <sighs> Let's just go to the town, I guess. And just see yeah, go to the town. Heading yeah. to Balakai. Okay. Yeah, we'll just find the Balakai map. Really wish they were in alphabetical order. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> As you're approaching the front gate, you can visibly see the young boy getting scared upon seeing the demons all flying around the gate. I'll tell him, uh, don't worry, they're here to protect the town. They were... They were brought in by somebody we know. Mm. I've always been told that demons are bad. Well, in my experience, near everything here is bad. <laughs> yeah? Okay. So you continue on. The guards yep. see you coming and remember you and let you through the gate. Great. Um, so I will ask, I'll ask Adrian... Uh, what is the name of your uncle? <clears throat> um, I did have this. Where is it gone? Oh. Owen. His, his family here is a Matikov. He has, um, he has two children as well. And his wife he, should be here. He lives here? No. Um, well, in between. They run the tavern. Oh, okay. I'll we'll just go to the tavern, I guess. I was going to go there and ask to start searching for information anyway, so, yeah, we'll head to the tavern. To the Blue Water Inn? Blue water in. Okay. So Grey smoke issues from the chimney of this large two story wooden building with a stone foundation and a sagging tile roof. Um, a painted wooden sign that hangs above the main entrance depicts a blue waterfall. Heading in? Yep. Sure, oh, we'll park the car and we'll go in with Adrian. Okay. There is a place to the side where you can put your cart and horses. Is this the 
place where um, Arena and her brother were staying and he's like kidnapped her from? Correct. Same place. Okay. okay. Same tavern, yep. Yeah, you see a lady behind the bar and you see two boys assisting running out meals and things like that. <clears throat> um, I just ask Adrian if uh, are they the family? Uh, yes, yes. Alright, I'll walk up to the bar and uh, speak to the bartender and just tell her that we're looking for Erwin. His brother hasn't heard from him for some time. <sighs> he went to get wine about a week ago. He should have been back days ago. I'm quite worried. Oh, I see you have Adrian with you. How are you, boy? He runs up and gives her a hug. And he runs off to play with the boys. And say hello to them, I suppose. Look. Uh, he obviously did not make it to the winery. If you were here. Looking at uh, Adrian. Doesn't appear so... Honestly, don't know where he would be. He should have been back. So, uh, thank you for bringing the wine. Um, yes, very well. We made an agreement to do so. Hmm. Uh, can you tell us where in town would we find Blinsky? Blinsky is at the toy shop. Uh, northeast side of town. Can't miss it. He's got a big sign and toys out the front normally. With that, you see a teenage girl enter the tavern. And she runs up to the counter. And sees all you there and is like, oh, it's good to see you have made it here, but the winery has been attacked since you have been gone. Do we recognize the teenage girl? Yes. Oh, she's from the winery? Stefania, one of Davian's oh. children's. Older girl. <laughs> We do believe it was a Liska has attacked the Scarecrows. They have stolen one of the gems. Um, she, so she found the gem then. Yes, it's, it does not bode well for us. Do you know where she is taken? Probably back to her place. Yeah. Where's that? Oh. Uh, southeast of the winery. And so they are right. also taking father. Mm. He was greatly wounded trying to protect him, us so we could get away. Well, uh... Did they say their relative here in this tavern has is a mage or something? <coughs> yeah, I think they even said that he was a wizard, but uh sounds like he like he was on his way to the winery a week ago and has now vanished. Uh -huh. I'd assume <coughs> everything's kind of uh connected. Really? Uh, so you say that uh, this girl has <clears throat> taken one of those gems that brings life to the vineyard? Hmm. Uh, 
Ale ľudky čo ste? Mm. I don't know, 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 I don't Okay, uh, we managed to question the druids. They said they uh, didn't really have any beef with the vineyard. They were threatened by a witch to attack it for her as a distraction or be destroyed. Okay. Um, so, and then we learned a few things about, like, they had a piece packed with werewolves but didn't have much advice on that. Um, we kind of made friends with... Uh, one of the dust girls that lives with the Vistani, and he and his friends might help us when we go fight Strahd. Uh, also, he's the one with the plan to go to the Amber Temple, which we're not ready for yet. We need to get more weapons. Just drop it out. What was that? The dust girl? Yep, he's the one with the plan to go to the Amber Temple, but says we're not ready yet. We need more weapons. Yep. So we're going to continue doing that. We decided to let the druids go because um, they promised not to be any threat to us. Yep. Reason. We've yep. We've gotten into the town, delivered the wine, found the found, turns out the brother of the guy who runs the winery is the tavern keeper here in town. Okay. About a week ago, he left to go to the winery. That's like he never made it there. No one's seen him. No one knows what's happened to him. Now the daughter from the winery has just shut up and says that uh, Liska, that witch that made the druids attack the place, uh, has attacked again herself, injured and captured the father and taken one of those magical gems that like brings life to the land. Okay. So we gotta go find them and take care of them. Yeah. Yeah. We know where they're hiding. Uh, yeah, well, we were told they suspect that she took it back to her place, and it sounds like people do know where this witch's um, hideout is. Oh, she has a lot of scarecrows as, like, servants. Okay. So they basically tell you if you're leaving um, Balakai, You'd want to take the first, after the bridge, turn left and follow that road and it'll basically take you all the way there to her. To her tree house. Okay. Okay, guess we go uh, Yes, and how long do they think it'll take us to get there? On horseback? Half a day. Yes. Not even. Is it? Is it about midday now? Or yeah. Okay. Should we go? Might as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Uh... Do we need to prepare anything? Like, what are we anticipating when we get there? What are we expecting to encounter? I mean, a witch and a lot of scarecrows. But like. How do we fight a witch's gecko? Is there anything? Gecko are full of hay, are they not? Yeah. Fire seems good. Okay. We need some molotovs. We are in a tavern. Do we have some hard spirits? Let's grab some rags, some bottles, and some vodka. Yeah. Bartender, do you have some hard spirits? Hmm. I'm assuming you said this conversation in front of her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we're talking about we're going to go, you know, save her family. Yeah, exactly. Mm. She's like, of course, whatever you need. If you're going on a rescue mission. Yeah. yeah I'm it quite seems worried. this which is very disruptive and should be stopped. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what... Molotov cocktails would 
in Thailand D&D, but... Bottle, sure vodka, rag, bit of flame, yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know how they work in combat. Yeah, I don't have stats, but... 5e Molotov cocktail equipment. Yeah, it's there. Occamus fire is a thing. I'm sure it's similar, maybe. Uh, yeah. like for like As an action, you can throw a Molotov cocktail at a point up to 60 feet away. Each creature within 20 feet of an exploding Molotov must take DC 14 dexterity saving throw or take 1d8 fire damage. Half on a successful save. It's, it's, weak too. it's flames actually spread in a 10 foot radius after 1d4 rounds lighting any flammable object with this area aflame creatures that begin uh -huh. their turns within this area must make a constitution saving throw or be set on fire as well for 1d8 fire damage sounds pretty good uh, although if it spreads like that maybe don't chuck too many around but can you usually you can in use a tree house. house yeah you can use a action to dexterity check to extinguish the flames Okay. <clears throat> or you can douse okay. it in water for even more effect. Oh, we should probably uh, head out then because I don't know how much time we would have to, like, we need to get there pretty quickly before this witch does whatever she's planning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Heading out from Valakar? Mm -hmm. yep. yep. Oh, that's right. Um, Give us a group perception check. <clears throat> this is for while you're walking through the town. Ah, Fours. I don't help much. Who are we missing on that? A 25. Okay, yeah, that balances it out to an average. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Strix? Uh, I'm and a 26, excellent. That puts you above. So what you do notice that from last time you are there, it's not as green. If anything, the ground is more red in colour. Red? I wish we had a druid around to ask this what happens to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all I had. So you continue on. Basically, the road deteriorates into a dirt path as you're heading down, and you're following a river to your right. Your left, if you're travelling down. Reveal some areas. Okay, you're still on the left side of the river. It's just jumping you over there. Oh, it's raining. Mm -mm. Okay. You mean in the game or real life? Both. <laughs> Let's go both. Um, and you have left the inn. Um, what is this place called that you're going to? Okay, you're approaching the area. I'll change maps now. Um, uh, it should be top right. Keep in mind, this map is pretty big. What's the one square equals a hundred feet? Hence why you cannot see much. Okay. Um, I can see everything. Yeah. Ugh, fuck. How? Oh, I don't have a token, that's why, I think. Huh? Uh, I've got the entire map um, unblocked on my... Oh, I do have a token. Yeah, I can see. How is that even everything. possible? It's sometimes... It's, uh, really on fucks up. it is on. Have a look at the Discord. That's what I see on my player's view. Whoa! Why don't, why don't we see that? that? Yeah, that's all you should be able to see. I'm not looking at the map. That's how it's set up. The dynamic lighting is on, vision is on. You've got night vision of 60 feet. You uh, shouldn't be able to see it. Yeah. What? 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 
pop pop refresh still um, gives you the power. Mm. Mm. How does that even work? Like, I just got to you. Yeah. I think if you click on the it's a quick control L, you can see what we see. Yeah. Yeah. That's silly. It's set up correctly. I can't do it any other way. Like, and it should be all set up for dynamic lighting. Dynamic lighting's are on. Uh. Does that change anything? Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Yeah, yeah, it's all black now. now. It's had... Even if it's daylight, you still cannot see all that distance. How stupid is that? Now it's all black. Yep. Can you still see around your character? Yep. Yes. yes. God, that is just stupid. So what if it's daylight? You still cannot see that far in the future. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird wording for it. Just wow. Lighting, pretty much. Yeah, that's silly. Okay. Can, can, uh, can you hear me? I've got Revolver instead, instead of me. Uh, that's better. Ah, let me swap you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thought I copied them all. Where are you? Oh, you're not even on the main map. Where are you? I was definitely on the main map. Yeah, I thought you were too. You're not with the group though. Um, what? <laughs> oh, okay. I just swore it a little bit. I can't see it. Did anyone see where he went? <laughs> I can drag one in, but I don't think it has the stats and stuff from the journal. There you are, you're underneath Strix. Oh, okay. <laughs> Transferring you now. Thank you. Why is your night vision 300 feet? Yeah. yeah. Fixed. Pretty no, it's 300 feet. feet. Twilight. Cleric. Yeah. It, is, it is 300 feet? It is 300 feet. That's why I had it there. Okay. You've got an advantage here. Well, I might be able to alleviate that problem you had because I can share my 300 feet dark vision with uh, everyone. Can you? All right. Well, I, even on my map, I can see what you can see, like the big circle around Josco, so I think okay, so that's fine. Map. We'll just like stay near you and it yeah. amounts to the same thing. Great. Yeah, yeah that, that works. I change the music and. Okay. Do fighting scarecrows. How many multiples did we get? Ten. Ten. Okay. So we're two each. Two to reveal, I guess, because he's still here. He'll probably drink from though. Okay. So the trail hugs the river for several miles. The dirt and grass soon turn to marsh, as the trail dissolves into spongy earth, pockmarked with stands of tall reeds and pools of stagnant water. A thick shroud of fog covers all. Scattered throughout the marsh are old pleasant cottages you can see in the distance, but can't see. Mm -hmm. The walls covered in black mildew. Ah, you do see them around you, yeah. The roofs are mostly caved in. These decrepit dwellings seem to hunker down in the mire, as though they have long since given up the escaping the thick mud. Everywhere you look, black clouds of flies dart about, hungry for blood. Mm. Okay, what do you do? Follow the path along, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah the lack of a. This is the direction to the place, so we'll keep going down. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Heading down? Yeah. Okay, the fog is much thinner on the far side of the river when you look across. <clears throat> You're right, this map is good. One square is 100 feet. feet. Yep. As you're moving down the road, you see a beam of light coming across the river in this direction. My crew of magic users sort of tell me that that might be a hint of where to go. <laughs> we look for a crossing along the river. Yeah. As you get closer to the river, you don't believe it is that deep. In some areas it might be, but um, other areas you can see the ground pretty easily. Yeah, because we look for a, the best affordable place. Yeah. 
Over here would be the shortest path across, you believe? Okay, I'll walk over there. Head down there. I can't, I can't even see, see the other side of the river. No. <laughs> Wait, Wait, so it's a Josca, does this just feel like an ocean? Or can I actually see the like, other side of the river? Yeah, you should be able to just make it out, yes. Okay. okay. It's a fog, and it is a fair way, but... Um... We see, so we saw like, a beam of light shoot out, can we see? Yep, it is following you. It's now coming from this way. Oh. Wait, so is it like a spotlight pointing towards us, or like a beam of light coming down from above? Towards you. From across the river? Yep. Ah. So it's coming from that direction, like... Yep. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, okay so, so it seems like... Something knows we're here. Yeah, yeah we, we don't, don't have the element of surprise, but... We may have the element of strength. strength. Um, what's, what's the, the time, time of day? Uh, it's getting towards night now, the sun is setting. Okay, um, and there's foliage or anything? Enough to keep me concealed? Yes. Alright. I'm, I'm going to run ahead. Probably, okay. I don't know, 100 feet, 200 feet ahead? Yep. I'm going to have to find that out. How much, how many is the square? 100 feet. <laughs> okay, okay, so, so you, all you, you guys, guys should be pretty, pretty much condensed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess technically we're standing on top of each other, but yep. mm. yeah. the squares don't really allow that. Uh, um, so, so we should head towards where that light is coming from. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we can find a portable uh, crossable spot. Is yeah. this like a magical light? Already. You can see the ground in the river. You wouldn't. Maybe Strix would go under. Probably carry. Yeah, yeah, I guess we should wade across. across. Yeah. It's definitely, definitely not a trap. This is light that we're following. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, I'm gonna cut myself in frost, but. Uh, my dog is we just keep heading to the town. Those... I mean... I thought all those buildings look abandoned, but... Yep. Mm. I... You know, I I'm, you know, my experience pointed me to go check for that light, see what it is, because it knows we're here. It's pointing at us. They yeah. could be whatever yeah. cover we have to go to the town. It's probably pointless if there's an ambush in town. Yeah. Although, if Strix did run forward 100 feet, did the limit keep pointing at like, the three of us and not follow Strix? Or didn't, like, see Strix. didn't see Strix. Didn't see Strix at all. Just pointing at you guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay so, so, do we go like we have in the past? The Strix will just be slightly off to the side and hidden for when the fighting starts. With a wise idea. Mm hmm. So, Strix swimming across? <laughs> uh. Yeah, I suppose so. Across. Alright, yeah, I guess we'll all wade across together. Okay. Is the light, like, right on the. Uh. Seem to be coming right from the opposite shore, or a bit further inland? A bit further in. Okay, so maybe Strix gets a piggyback from someone who's not, like, bleeding frost. So yeah. he's, like, out of water. Yep. Hit, well, I think actual, like, piggyback, like, behind you so he can't be seen, and then once we hit the shore, he oh. drops down and scampers off. Okay. Oh, Sounds good. Absolutely. As soon as you start crossing the river, the light turns off as well. Okay. Well, let's, oh, uh... Let's keep going. Some cost fallacy be damned. Can't we, uh, 
The waiting. Yeah. So a beam of light comes from the south of you in this direction. Quickly, it turns off again. Hmm. Silly, I think Strix get off to the side a bit and... Yeah, I run around and they kind of go this way. Yep, okay, so we just head towards the line. Yep. Do we think it didn't care or did it lose us when we were in the water? I think it's caring because we're close now. That's why it turned off in case it's trying to move. Hmm. Okay, All right. So. As you get closer, you do notice a dozen moss-covered stones form a near-perfect circle in the spongy earth. These weathered stones range in high from 15 to 18 feet. A couple of them lean inward as if to share some great secret with the inscrutable neighbours. A wary-looking peasant woman lurks behind the tallest stone, a rusty lantern clutched in one gnarled hand and a dagger clutched in the other. She beckons you to come closer. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll go for Yeah. I'm going closer. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She's about a hundred feet away now. <laughs> you just see her on the edge of the fog. <clears throat> But yeah, just got a lantern so we see the light, I guess. Her token's a lot bigger than she should be. <laughs> I can't even shrink it, which is annoying. Mm. It's like a bit of a whisper, not too loud. She's like, Strangers, why are you here in Berez? Looking for someone. Hmm. A, fair, a couple of members of a family have gone missing, and we believe they've been taken this way. Um, I've seen none of your type here. I'm not necessarily saying they're, they're my type, but I'm the only one of my type that I believe is in this hmm. whole area. Highly unlikely for anyone else like me to be out here. Yes, a human male. Mm. Two human males, we, we leave. Mm. Why, yes, I have seen two human males be brought here. What is it you're doing with them? They've been taken from a farm that we've been working with a farm you say don't oh. know of a farm growing and production facility hmm so you know of the Martikov family yes hmm. um and who are you my name is Muriel Let's say I am a friend of the family. No, she's not. You enjoy wine? Not really. That is the family's business. So, how are you friends with the family? Hmm. Long friends. We've known each other our entire lives. Fair enough. So, you've seen them here? Yes. Two of them were brought here. Whereabouts are they at the moment? Hmm. At Witch's house. She keeps them in cages. Where is which house? It is in the middle of Berez. You'll see it. It does stand out. It's a giant tree, basically. 
that she's built her place in. Is there anything you can tell us about this witch that might aid in the rescue of our friends? Mm, I could. Still unsure whether to trust you with that information. Do you know their names of the people you are here to rescue? Erwin and... Well, I have to add my notes that Adrian was the father, so I guess... Claudia? Adrian was the elder son. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I had written down from last time that Adrian was the father and Claudia, well, Claudia's a teen, but, you yeah. know, I don't know, but, yeah, I know Irwin, and we know the name of the father, but... Hmm. Irwin is the father, yes. Very well. She is a powerful spellcaster. You would probably... Do your best not to disturb her. Uh, I have a question. We found you because of a light emanating across the river. Mm hmm. So what is the cause of that light? She holds up the lantern in her hand. Seemed a lot brighter than just a lantern like this. But then how did you see us from so far away? Hmm, I did not see you. Let's just say I knew you were coming. Okay. But you knew enough to signal for us. Yes. Do you live here in this circle? Hmm, yes. I have lived all my life in Burroughs. I believe my compatriot here means the circle of stones. Hmm. They do keep me safe. Hmm. Yes, I want to make it very clear I have not moved within the circle of stones at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I recognise things like this. So it seems somewhat fake. But... Hmm. So... So aside from the fact that, you know, the witch is a potent spellcaster, hmm. is there anything else you might be able to suggest in order to help us rescue our friends? I can only suggest that you do not make a commotion. Okay, understood. She has scarecrows everywhere here. Once she alerts them, they will attack. Uh, these scarecrows are powerful? Not so much. I can dispatch one myself pretty easily, but in groups, they can be terrifying. And they are numerous. Hmm. Okay. She has also trapped many mountain goats, several or so, in a pen near her mansion, but I believe she feeds off them. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'll turn to everyone else. So, shall we go across to find the tree? Yeah, that sounds wise. Hmm. If you see her skull is not there, she is not home at the moment, but I believe she is still in. I have not seen her leave. Alright. Are there any... Since this witch is living in the town and so powerful and has the scarecrows patrolling, are there any people living in the town or is abandoned apart from her? Um, it is abandoned. Do not go back into the town since she has moved in. But everyone left after Strahd flooded us out. When Except did that occur? Myself. Um, got that here, I think. Oh, 
It's at least ten or so years ago. You know why he did that? Hmm. He had a lust for someone named Marina here. I'll be back. Go to the bathroom one second. Marina. Oh, sorry. It would have been at least 30, 40 years ago. That makes more sense. And so what happened? Hmm. Strahd seduced her in the dead of the night and feasted on her blood. But before she could be turned into a vampire, the Burgomeister... Berez. The Burgermeister of Berez, Laszlo Ulrich, was the aid, with the aid of the local priest named Brother Grigor, killed Marina to save her soul from damnation. That enraged Strahd, slew the priest and the Burgermeister, and used his power of the land to swell the river, flooding the village and forcing the residents to flee. Later, the marsh crept in, preventing the villagers from returning. And it has remained abandoned since. Now it is home of a hermit, the Liska, as they call her. What did Marina look like? Uh, she would have been quite beautiful, I'd say. I think I've actually got a picture of Marina. One second. Um, Rez. There was actually um, a statue of her in the city somewhere. Best way to explain it. Long blonde hair. Very beautiful. Hey, back, sorry. Alright, we're just getting a uh, history of the town. Yeah. Oh, why it's flooded. And yeah. uh, we have a certain person called Marina. Well, no, yeah, 30, 40 sorry. years ago, Strahd was um, lusting after this beautiful woman, Marina, and was feeding on her in the night. But before he could turn her, the Burgermeister and priest killed her to save her soul. So Strahd killed both of them and flooded the town because, you know, he was pissy. <laughs> oh, and now he's lusting after Irina. Because yeah. Of some connection. Um, well, that's what I was wondering. And the. Uh, what Muriel we're talking to says that there's a statue of Marina in the town somewhere if we find her to see what she looked like. Hmm. It was on the west side of the town, but. I cannot see it anymore when I go around the outskirts. Hmm, what's the plan? <clears throat> well, let's uh. Sounds like we're going in quietly. Yes. I believe Strix should be taking the lead, trying to find a way in. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Um, if there's any ability to assist with stealth, because I am not the most stealthy of people. I need to move very slowly. I may be able to move quietly myself, but there's nothing I can do to help you. I, I can't help others. Well, we'll just need to move as carefully as possible. There we go. Worked out how to turn off the grid. That's better. Oh god, she's tiny now. Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> 
Okay. Strict leading. Yep. Oh, uh, before we leave, do we need to cross the river again to get back? Is there an easy crossing to get back over to the other side of the river? That there is not, no. The river where you crossed is the best place to do it. Very well. Yeah, well, we'll go back to where we crossed and cross back over. Mm-hmm. Okay. We swam. Oh, no. Strix just swam across the deepest part of the river. <laughs> oh, where are we going? Kind of there? Yeah, back up there. Yep. Is About there. Hey, that's the, where you're right on the path now, where you were before. Path keeps going south from there. <clears throat> okay, so proposing to follow the path, but need to go slowly, carefully, and stealthily. Mm, that sounds smart to me. Mm hmm. Because I have jingle as we walk. <laughs> I mean, should we pass without trees? If we've got the capacity to, yes. I do not. Well, no, I don't know if any of us have that ability. Okay. I am going to ask, is it worth... Um, is it going to be better off you removing the armour so you're not jangling? Like, if we get in a fight, you <clears> won't be as protected but we will be less likely to get in a fight. Ah, very well. <laughs> very well. <laughs> yeah, I'll do the same then. I'll also go off armor. Mm. Okay. Well, it's, you basically just need to lose uh, heavy. Anything, anything that does a disadvantage, which I think is heavy armor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, play, I think, chain mail. So. Chain mail is definitely doing, doing me <laughs> Jingle jangles. <clears throat> okay. Um, Taking off your armor, heading in to where you see the cottages. Ahead of you. Yep. I'll Following the road. Excellent. Follow along. You see uh, two uh, of these I'll things see. on the other side of the road before you see the cottages. Um, just standing there, and they look like they're eerily watching you. Hmm. Well, there goes our stealth. They're already looking at us. <laughs> uh, I might be a little bit patchy at the moment. I've just got to look up Karis for the next little bit. Okay. So as you, know you what? if they're already looking at us, I think maybe we go in with armor. <laughs> what do you think? <clears throat> So you're just going to get dressed in front of them? Yeah. I want to keep going undressed, yeah. At a level I'll, I'll put my arm back on if we can. If they're yeah. all walking, then... Okay, maybe back off a bit and... Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll try to find a chest-high wall and crouch behind it. Go behind some trees. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> all right. Ten minutes. Sure. Okay. So... As you approach the cluster of ruined cottages separated by low stone walls where people are getting changed, you see a short stretch of dirt road that remains intact. The cottages contain rotted furnishings and nothing of value. The walls that separate the cottages are three feet tall and easily scaled or circumvented. The cottages start here when you follow the road. Someone just moved. Sean, you just moved my arm. Um... A marker because I don't have my mouse anymore. Done. Oh, no work. Joska's light radius helps a lot. 
Yeah, thank God, I'm always happy to see you, dude. You see where the cottages were, there's not much left of them. Mm. Well, do we want to enter the town on the road if there's those two things watching us as we go, or do we want to yeah, let's, try uh, and see if there's another way out? Let's try a brick mission. Brick line side, for sure, yeah. Down or up, do you think? Along the riverbed? Mm. Does the ground slope towards the river, like downwards? Yes. Maybe we could use it as cover. Uh, and I guess it's really foggy here, but can we see a large tree, like in the middle of the town? Or? Yes, in okay. this direction. Let's go north. Got to follow that, that fence line north. Okay. okay. Seeing any other scarecrows? Or... Um, yes, you do actually. You see another one over here. Oh, okay. Direction. And is it There's like another this? one over here as well, near oh the river. God, right near the edge of the hill. Is this water we're looking at slightly north of us? No, it looks like it, but it's not. It's just a the hill. Okay. What about some of those scarecrows on the road? There was two at the start on the road. Uh, come down, using my tactical mouse from all my soldiering, uh, we'll go back down south in, and get a look against that southwestern um, cobblestone uh, wall. Uh, this one? No, 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 no. Come back, Karis. Okay, uh, what I was meaning was... Oh, wrong screen. Trying to get to here. So, you know, if we need to duck around the wall on this side, go back down and cut back in, cut back across. Yep. What are you doing? No, no, no. Don't play with that. Okay, no. <laughs> that, that's water. <laughs> so, we're moving along this wall? So, yeah, like my, my thought is to get over that wall, get down, not that far, but then get across and see if there's any way along this wall that we can scale. Um, I mean, you can easily go over line. those walls. They're only three feet high. Yeah. yeah. Then yeah, we but... probably don't even need to go. Well, probably don't even need to go all the way up that um, to the, the other edge. We could probably find a spot somewhere mid mid to full way along. But can you? Yeah, that we can just hop over somewhere along here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I mean, I think we get to hop over basically everywhere. Anywhere, maybe handing strips over, like one to the other, so he doesn't have to climb. But yeah. No, no, no! Put that back. Oh, don't slam my fingers. Uh, uh, Jason, are you meaning to run over to that scarecrow? <laughs> nope. He's just checking it out. Just maintained eye contact with him, didn't do much else. <clears throat> okay, do we think these things are waiting for a command, or they'll take action if we do a specific action they don't, they've been told not to like? They might be waiting on action. <clears throat> they also might be remote eyes. That's true. I have an idea to find out one way or another. 
Mm-hmm. One person strapped, be locked on, and then Strix disappear around behind them and take it out. North. Yeah, maybe. Don't yeah, like it. Yeah. Yeah, here again for a while. Yeah, these two up on the hill. Uh, do they have like unbroken line of sight to each other? Like the scarecrows. This one and this one. Would they be able to see each other? Uh, it's over 150 feet. Probably not. Okay, so. If they're not all connected magically, and we want to try taking out one, we could maybe try taking out this one and seeing if the others notice. But if that's the plan we want to go with, well, then that might trigger a response. What do you think, Strix, if we hold his attention? Do you think you could get around behind the scarecrow and cut it up? Easy. I can do that. It's worth a shot. Yeah. Do you want me to go north or south? Yeah. Uh, whichever way you think is the easiest has the most cover, but I think, yeah, go for that one. Mm -hmm. um, Otherwise, my map suddenly all blanked out. Yeah. Um, weird. I haven't changed anything. Even the players one is blacked out. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Why did it do uh, that? Addison is still here. I'm still here. I don't have a circle anymore. Oh, yeah, wait, oh there you go. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. I didn't touch anything either times. Oh, roll twenty. Yeah, I drew little orange circles around when the scarecrow was on. Is that yeah. vaguely so you remember? So they're not moving. If we walk past them, they just kind of like spin and watch us, but they don't like move. Yep. Okay. Alright. So just we're all comfortable with the idea of we stay here holding the attention and then Strix like kills this one here? <clears throat> um, yes, but Strix, can I just tap you real quick with the supervision? Just yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to throw you a little. Eyes of nine. I'm going to So you get 300 feet of dark vision. Nice. For 10. For one hour. Yeah, and then I'm good with that. Sweet, okay. Yeah, I like that. So we'll draw their attention. Do we aggressively draw their attention? Or do we just kind of look well, I think we just remain in the open because they're watching us and I think if Strix, as Strix is sneaking, if it's not turning to watch him, it just continues to watch us. I think that is all we need for him to go take it out. We'll just keep standing here and see that it keeps looking at us, maybe walk back and forth a bit to see that it like follows our movement, but Okay, I like that. Yeah, okay. Dear thing, Strix. Vanish. Right. I will I don't know which way it's looking, but well, I think he's looking towards me, so... I'll stand and get with you. Yeah, get around the other side of it and use your... Oh, I'll... Try to hit the to, like, yeah. stab it three times in the back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could literally just walk right up to it, because it's not going to see me at all. So you're sneaking um, up, or what are you doing? You're coming around the back, basically behind it. Yeah, so I'll come up behind it and. Yep. Yeah, I'll pull out. Well, I'll just... Yeah, I'll pull out my swords and. Swords? Yeah. I have. Uh, I 
got, got two, two weapon fighting, fighting as well. well. Yeah, if you have two short swords, that would be four attacks on you because you have two regular attacks, your dread ambush or attack, and then your offhand bonus attack. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there any difference between the left and right handed attack, or is it just. You don't add your dex to the damage of the off handed attack. Okay. okay. So the plus four. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how that works. No. Uh, anyway, I'll uh, hit him. I'll um. I might as well mark it as well. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll put a hunter's mark on it. From that one. Yep. And then, yeah, I'll hit it with a short sword. Silver short sword. Cool. Yep. Hits. Twelve. Hits. Uh, oof. Nine. Yep. That's the six. Then uh, another short sword. Does that also include the? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Twelve hits. Yeah. Um. This is exactly the same. Yeah. That. one d six per. Is that, so, so two hand weapon, so that's, that's one go, or is that two? One that was one, one, one action. That's one action, yeah. Yep. Okay. And then you get your dread ambusher attack, mm -hmm. and then you get the bonus. Eleven hits. And don't you have Hunter's Mark on as well? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I just put Hunter's Mark on as well. Yeah, so get, is that once a round, or is it oh, every just day? Checking in my... I think it's only once that extra thing. Um, Whenever you do, you have an attack. Oh really? Okay. Yep. Yep. So it's D6 to every hit. Uh -huh. So you may as well add a D6 to that D7, and then the D6 to the 10 plus is it a D8 for the red ambush? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, one D eight. Well, that was eleven for the first attack, eleven for the second attack, yeah. uh, ten so far on the third, which you have a D six and a D eight too. Mm. And the eight. Yep. Uh, and the D6 Hunter's Mark on that third attack? Uh, so one, two, and I've never done three. One, two, that one, did I do the D6? You've done three attacks, but only two of the Hunter's Marks so far. Okay. That's 35. For that extra yeah. one, you see it explode with a black raven feathers going flying everywhere, and it falls over <laughs> dead. Okay. okay. Cool. Um, do the others we can see seem to react in any way? None of them could see it from there. Yeah, and, and so it's not like they can sense something happened, as far as we can tell. No, no. They have not moved at all. Okay, then. In that case, I'll throw my hunter's mark on the next one over here. <laughs> yep. I shall start moving up against that one as well. Yep, I'll keep standing off at an angle to hold its attention. Uh, 
I don't know, do I need stealth roll or something to do? Oh. If it's not looking in your direction, I can't see why. <laughs> okay, cool. Your stealth is really high anyways. Yes, yes it, it is, is very high. high. Um, then I'll hit it again. <clears throat> Hits. So, so trade and push through is just a thing I can, I can do. do. There's no, it's, 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 it's not a spell or anything else. Yeah, yeah, but it's just the, the, the first, first round of combat, so I guess as long as you're not in. They haven't been in combat yet. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. So that's attacks, hits. And so that D six Dread Ambush and then left hand hits. D six. That's one attack. One more. Mm -hmm. Does not hit. Okay. And then oh, you, you get, get one because, because you get three attacks from, from the attack, attack action as a dread angle shot. Yeah. And, and then another, another attack, attack with, with the left hand, hand. So, so you get, get four attacks, attacks total. total. But I think you get. get Try one more time. Hits. And it, it explodes in a puff of black raven feathers. Falls down. I didn't, didn't realise I could actually be that effective with swords. <laughs> nice. I mean, I if you backstab something that has no idea you're there, yeah, yeah you, you're, you're pretty good. good. Mm -hmm. I think I need to take a point in the rogue. Oh shit, yeah, that'd be terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe I might be multi-classing. <laughs> Alright, so Joska, what do you think? Do we wave strips back over? Uh, yeah, it looks like the wave's clear. Yeah, or, or we're gonna just follow them. Yeah, yeah, maybe we... Carefully start walking along this way until we see any other scarecrows. Like we break line of yeah. sight to those ones at the front gate. We'll come to you. Mm-hmm. Nice work, Tricks. Are we seeing any others? No. You do yeah, see I... the tree there. How is this? Mm, we have a tree. Yeah. Man, someone has built a ramshackle wooden hut on the stump of what used to be an enormous tree. The rotting roots of the stump thrust up from the mire they're like the legs of a gigantic spider. An open doorway is visible on one side of the hut, beneath which floats the upside-down, hollowed-out skull of a giant. Flanking the hut's doorway are two iron cages that dangle like hideous ornaments from the eaves. Scores of ravens are trapped inside each one of them. They squawk and flutter their wings excitedly as you approach. Well, that would be the brothers, um... And it looks like she's home if the skull is there. And as you're getting close, you notice that it is floating just a few feet off the ground. Yep. So it's like it's a giant skull floating upside down. Alright, well, if she's like other hags I know of, that may be her method of transportation. A giant, giant flying skull. skull. <laughs> Very slow. Yes, okay. they have creepy things. Or sometimes it's a cauldron, sometimes it's bones, sometimes it's a strange creature. Um, I knew one of them had a giant shoe that she would fly around in. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Are you approaching it to get closer? Uh, do we want to hold back and maybe, okay, so the ravens have noticed us and seen 
Yes. I can find that we're here, like I'm just gonna like give them that just just be cool symbol. Do we come down here and Strix, do you want to sneak as close as you can and see if you can spot this witch without being seen? Okay. So where is this thing? Yeah, I think was this it? Yep. Strix is getting closer. Yeah, he's sneaking closer. Alright, right, I'll change maps. Strix is only here. We just ignore the other players. This is the tree that you see. Okay, so I'll be up here somewhere. Um, I see birds, do I? Yep. We're hanging in cages. Yep, wait. Guessing those are the guys we're here to rescue, and for some reason they can't fly out of the cages. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will maybe slowly walk here. Yeah. And then I see something. something. Yeah, there is a door on the hut, but for some reason your light's going in. Which is weird. I don't know. Um, I think there's a door. Where are we? Uh, the squawk of the birds get louder. They get more impatient. Um, say anything about the outside. Yeah, there's nothing about the outside, really. See the giant skull floating there. Is, is it, it like, like literally just floating there? Yeah, just about a foot off the ground, not far. Hovering. Um, okay. okay. I, know I know nothing, nothing about flying skulls. skulls so. <laughs> uh... Okay. Uh, I, there is no going? door on the hut. Sorry, there is no door. Oh, oh can we, we see inside now? Yeah, you can. What can you see? Uh, you see a writing yeah, desk from where you are. I think it's Joska's vision that is seen through the door. So if we just move yeah. his character to where Strix is standing, well, we should I'll be able just to change tell Strix's. what he can see. Yep. Okay. I'll just be there. There we go. That's fixed. Okay. What you do see in front of you, you see an old hag taking a bath and she's covered in some sort of red substance. Uh, uh, roll for psychic damage. damage. And she is naked. I look away. I don't think I just thought we could use your character to be. Strix's eyes. Oh, yeah. I fixed his vision now. He's got 300 feet because you did cast that on him, so. It's still not working. Oh, God. It's got 300 feet on here, so. I don't know. It okay. doesn't update properly. Okay, what he's doing? She seems quite preoccupied. Yep. Well, Strix has stumbled into a scene from The Shining. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, who's, who's more magically inclined here? Does a warlock, warlock, probably? A uh, warlock? Uh, yeah, I know. Stuff about uh, magic. I, I kind, kind of point, point at the skull and I kind of raise, raise my arms up and I shrug my... Yeah. Oh, when yeah, you're what about do I do? Kind of, what, what do, do I do about, about that? that? Well, well, yeah, yeah I, I had said, said when you're, you're back with us that that's, that's like her, her that's, that's her ride, that's, that's how she travels around, around I suspect. Uh -huh. It's not necessarily going to happen, it's not something she jumps in and flies around in. So you can pretty much see the entire interior from here, I'll give you a description. The hut is 15 feet on the on a side and packed with old furniture, including a wooden cot, a wicker cabinet, slender wardrobe, a wooden table, a stool, a barrel-topped wooden chest reinforced with brass bands and iron tub stained with blood, which she is currently in. 
In the middle of the room is a ghastly wooden crib with a small, angelic child sitting in it. All the furnishings except for the crib are bolted to the floor. Beneath the crib, green light seeps up through the cracks between the rotting floorboards. Sounds, Sounds like, like we, we should, should um, burn it. <laughs> well, I mean, none of us have seen this yet. I'm, I'm waiting for Strix to come back and tell us. Because he's a child. Well, I will, I will come back and I'll relay all the... It's like... Yep. Um, did, did you hear that the hag is naked? No. She, she's having a bath in blood. Right. Um, yes, yeah, so it's a green light under a very healthy childhood. Could that be that gem that she stole? It could be. Uh, I'm just going to get taller. I'll be back yeah. in um, she might be using it to freshen her food. <laughs> so those um, ravens on the outside of those, the cages with... Uh... Full of ravens? Yeah. Ravens. And the, the trees at the ground level, I'm assuming? Yeah, it, it's a tree stump with a cottage built on top of it. Right. And that um, skull you can see out in front of the door, that's the skull of a giant, and it's floating. <clears throat> How far in the air is it floating? About a foot. So I've been telling you that from what I know of hags, I've, I've seen them have stuff like this before, that's probably just her way of getting around. Like, she writes that. Wow. Kind of want to see that. Wild. So I don't think it will move on its own, but if she gets into it, she can probably just fly off. <clears throat> Before we start, though, she seems distracted now. Do we want to try to break the brothers out of the cages before we start anything? Can I see anything on the cages that are like locks or... Yes, you do. Uh, and is it locked, locked, or is it just like latched? Locked. Big padlock on it. Okay. About how far apart are the bars? Does it look like a raven should be able to fit between the bars? Negative. Okay, so it's not like there's some magic field around it like hmm. Strahd cells necessarily. Hey, Ramos, do you know much about witches? Are they tied to fey at all? Fey or is uh, Arable? Oh, um, well, yeah, there are definitely plenty of hags in the fey. I've dealt with some of them. I don't know that the hags here are exactly the same, but from what I've seen, yeah, kind of. That is it a hag or a witch? Uh, I mean, they're different they... words for similar things. Oh, okay. No, she's definitely acting like, I mean, yeah, Flying Skull, Bathing in blood. Big tree. Uh, it seems kind of hag like to me, okay. which means probably very powerful magical, and with magic we're not familiar with or really able to understand. We could open with a big silence before we move in, maybe try to stop some magic and then beat her up. Uh, I mean, yeah, it probably wouldn't help. That uh, probably wouldn't hurt, but. Um, it's possible she knows magic that she doesn't need to speak to cast. For sure. That's the yeah. thing. They're very old. They know a lot of things. They can do magics that do not make sense from uh, what we understand of the rules of magic. All right. If we just go in with the uh, right sword swinging? Uh, if she's not immune to the touch of iron? Yes. But definitely, I think, hit her as much as we possibly can. I like that plan. 
I'm just wondering, do we get the rest out? Especially if one of them is a wizard, would he be able to help us if we get him free? Mm -hmm. uh, either way, we should probably move quickly uh, before she gets out of the bath <laughs> and is better prepared. Yeah. 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 Do we, do we have strips with this? Nope. Okay. Well, I don't think we don't we don't wait in game, but probably wait till all of us are here. Yep. I guess wait back in a second. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Oh, uh, also, well, oh. Are you still here? Also, if you want to talk to me. Yeah, uh, while you're away, Tim, we did figure out the scarecrows did seem to be able to see us, but they weren't connected to anything psychically because we were able to, like, hold their attention and Strix would get behind one at a time and just, like, obliterate them. That's what I thought. Yeah. And none of the others seemed to notice as long as we were taking them out out of line of sight of each other. And the fact that she's now taking a <laughs> bath, unless this is some sort of convoluted trap. It could be a trap, but you know, I'm not going to say it's not. But, um, yeah. So. <laughs> Up in the yeah. sirens go. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the music's good. left you got evicted on their house or that or whatever left their dog behind in a cage just in the apartment what the what? fuck that's pretty fucked up that's so <laughs> fucked up god damn yeah. all their junk all around and just left the dog in the cage and just sitting there oh my god fuck it people suck mm. that's people suck and it's, it's an apartment and it's a big dog it's like a fucking like a like a staffy like a large staffy like, how the fuck can you fit a dog like that in there? Can't. That's animal cruelty. Oh, I've actually noticed it, but like, this guy, I did this apartment block in Narrabunda, just above the um, golf course there. And mm. this person's got a... What is it? It's um, like a St. Bernard in an apartment. Yeah. There's some big dogs that are actually quite okay for um, apartment living, like um, mm. Great Danes and even bloody, uh, what should we call it, um, Greyhounds. Yeah. yeah. They're really laid back and calm, mm. but you still need to take them outside, but they're okay for living inside of an apartment, unlike, say, um, you know, something the size of Scardi or smaller, who want that running around, need that running yeah. around. Yeah, Border Collie never, ever. 
Yeah. Could, could live in one of those apartments. You'd go fucking insane. Yeah. It's also, I think it's also the, I don't know, it's also the, 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 the temperament of the actual dog. Oh, it's the temperament over anything else. Mm. Yeah, but, but like, in general, the temperament of the, you know, big, some of those bigger dogs is actually quite well suited because they just like, they just like lying around. They, they mm. Holy they shit. Just... Anyway, we're all here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Kill it. Well, do we kill try it, to it, it. quietly free the ravens or do we launch the attack immediately? Um, what t- is it a cage they're, they're in? Yep. Uh, what are they attached? Are they attached to a branch via what, rope or what? work. Big heavy iron cage. It's attached to a root, basically. Yeah. Attached to a root. Um, I've got yeah. that. Yep. Joska, your silence. Is that you like create a bubble of silence? Yeah, it's like a 24 radius. No sound can be made. So uh, can you stops. make it so it Lovely. covers the cages, but not the bathtub, but like the front half of the house? Where are the cages? Can you just ping them for me? The ravens are the Oh, cages. okay, so it's full of birds. Is, is that... So she doesn't realise, like, she's not, she doesn't stop making noise. Oh, They're okay. silenced, so we can try to just break the cages open. And if she, like, tr- starts running towards us, she goes into the bubble, si- the silence bubble. So you can see my 15 and 20 foot radius points. I see. To put it like here or something. Yeah, it's a ritual, so it's free, so I'll do it regardless. Uh, how um, long does it take to cast though? 10 minutes, but it's 120 foot range, so I can do it from very far away. Yeah, is she going to be still in the bath for 10 minutes? Or do we just attack right now? I don't restrict how bath does she look. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I, I, I squinch my eyes open, I go, yep, yeah, she's still in there. Okay. <laughs> if I did it, it would cover like we like this square. She's pouring uh, more blood maybe, through her hair at the moment. Maybe um, one more in, so it's like the front of the house as well. Okay. I also... Uh, I've, I start casting around this. Yep. I've thrown my mark on top of her as well, just to make sure. You got a mark on her? Yep. I'm standing like here, but for vision. Yep. Yeah, just give me that. Alright, as soon as it goes off. So you've uh, cast silence? Yes, from where Arabelle is, just next to him, I'm gonna start casting silence. So as soon as you did, all the ravens stopped. Basically you can't hear them anymore. It's just silence everywhere around you, obviously. Wait, so they were calling the whole time? Oh, yeah, they were excited to see um, you. They haven't shut up oh, since. I, I was like waving at them to say like stop. <laughs> they never did. Calm down, but yeah. And um, whoever's watching this guy has noticed her, noticed this. She's now standing up and looking and walking towards the front area. Okay. I'm uh, going to pull an arrow. Is the cage attached with a rope? Or is um, it sitting on the root? Basically sitting on the root. Oh, Just okay. a big heavy okay. iron cage. Okay. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to break Can you yeah, break the padlock? Yep. Yeah, okay. I'll strength, strength check the padlock. Unless there's some other investigation. Wait, why are we freeing the ravens? Are they not allied or are they against They're them? the people we're here to rescue. Got it, okay. They, yeah, they are wear ravens. Straight we're... strength to see if I can force it. That failed. With that, roll for initiative. Yeah. Why isn't it going across today? That's so annoying. 24 for Strix, 8 for Erebel. Yeah. Uh, with advantage, uh, 9. 9 for Josco. I should have um, did my other spell. I've got a new spell. Very nice. It's got 10. Done. Start. Strix, you're up first. Can you switch to uh, it during the fight? or? Uh, oh, well... If I have to concentrate on the Hunter's Mark, can I cast another spell of something else? Um, if it doesn't require concentration, yeah. Hmm, yep. Okay. As long as you concentrate. Um, uh, it's a, basically, it's a trap. 
So I was going to oh. plant up near the near the door entrance, and she walks out and poof, mm-hmm. no, well, piercing no. arrows yeah. everywhere. Um, no, we didn't prepare for that. <laughs> no. Yeah, I can like basically plant arrows in the ground, huh. and then they come up like spikes and. Um, yeah, and like I can actually put more ammunition in the ground and make it more powerful. <laughs> Um, all right, that doesn't matter. Uh, Parker, I'll show you. Silver arrows. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm gonna shishka babu 27. Uh, hits. I was gonna say, if that didn't hit, um, <laughs> yeah, very badly. <laughs> Twelve plus four. Uh, another one. Fourteen. Um, fourteen does not hit. Okay. Y'all step down to the bath. She's got well, yeah, natural. She it's all, what is she made of? It's all natural. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's because I'm so disgusted. I, I, I'm, I'm only open one eye. I'm like, it's quite um, saggy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's done. Uh, oh, and the D8. Oh, and the D8, yes. And three. See ya, and I run. Okay. Well, you, you don't actually make any noise, but... Yes. <laughs> Bye-bye. Okay. Ignoring the scarecrows. I built this encounter for something else, so we'll ignore them for now. They're not okay. actually there if you do see them. Don't get too worried until you do see them on the map. Uh, she moves forward and jumps into a giant skull. Oh! And it starts flying. It takes off about 10 feet off the ground and moves over to here. Ah. She points a finger at Strix. Ooh. You do a constitution saving throw, please. Which has to beat... Um, where is her thing? Ah, oh, you just got enough. Oh. So you take half damage of... Where is it? 200. <laughs> uh, 78. Jesus Christ. Let me roll. 78. I wasn't five. far off, actually. And 30. And just to be clear of how scared we should be, 30. we just saw her cast a spell without any verbal components, didn't we? <laughs> yep. That's yeah. um, a total of 75 necrotic yeah. damage. That's half of that. How much for? 75. 75. So 38. Uh, what the hell spell was that? <laughs> yeah, can I recognize what spell it was? Can you? I don't know, is that like an arcana check? Or yeah, do, do an arcana really? check. I'll allow that. What color was it? <laughs> Nine. No, you're not too sure. Okay. No worries. Haven't seen it before. What color was it just for reference for future? Black. Okay. 14. Now, you think it was the finger of death. Oh my god. Okay. Um, She can only cast one spell a turn. And she's done. With that, you see the actual hut moving. The roots come alive. And the hut stands up. Where did I roll on the um, initiative? <laughs> <laughs> I think you were 10? Yeah, I think that's what I remember seeing. So the hut is now walking on legs and is alive. And it's attacking Liriamus. 
right next to the root. 26 to hit. Okay. For 25 bludgeoning damage. Um, I am going to... Uh, there's my... I'm going to soak some of that. Uh, where is the... Take the field, here we go. How much did I soak? Seven. So I take 19 points of damage there. Yeah. You see another leg coming across to hit you and it misses, goes over your head. Liriam, it's your turn. Okay. I run the wrong screen again. I take quick steps this way. Then I use my psionic leap to jump up onto platform with her. Okay, sure. <laughs> then I will strength check her to uh, to um, basically wrestle her out of it. Okay. So I'm just trying to grapple and pull her out of the um, out of the flying boot. Absolutely. So athletics check or that'll be strength still. Yeah. Uh, so I'm trying to go athletics because it's a sub. Damn. So. Well, she rolled a twenty, so. So can I use athletics? Uh, it will be strength against her strength. Uh, okay, so pure strength versus strength, not skills. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you wrestled with the old hag, which is naked, by the way, and she <sighs> she bested you. <laughs> but she's also still slick with blood. And yeah, that's true. That's a disadvantage for you. <laughs> Oh, this is giving me some good mental images. Isn't it though? <laughs> <laughs> some distinct mental images. For sure. Hmm. Still up there with her. I have, just haven't successfully wrestled her out of it. Yeah, you're still up there with her. Yep. Okay. Okay. Joska. Okay, I'm going to drop concentration on silence. Because it's not doing anything for us. Yep. Uh to us <laughs> I'm going to cast can we damage the cages that the uh, where ravens are in to like break and break is that a thing Liriam has yeah, tried and it did nothing so far okay did it seem I shot to Liriam uh, did the cages seem magical why can't we break them no no Poor pressing issues right now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we could get an ally, maybe. That's fair, though. I'm gonna cast Spirit Guardians at third level. Uh, to do uh, DC 16 Wisdom save from the Witch. Wisdom? Ooh. Is that how it works? No, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I make a melee. Wait, it is a. Wait, how does this spell work? Who attacked you? Yeah, wisdom saving throw. Uh, against 16. Ah, she failed. Okay, she takes 14 radiant damage. 14 radiant? Yeah. Done. I think you have to step forward for it to affect her, though. How big is it? 15 feet? 15 feet one, from you. Three. Okay, I'll take one step forward. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she is 15 feet in the sky, too. Uh, <laughs> oh, then I... Directly underneath her? Walk underneath her, then. I'm yep. Like, here. Jump. <laughs> to try and get her in range. Excellent. I got her. I jumped up there to grab her. I'm talking, yeah, not with psychic powers, just like bouncing up and down to get the bubble in range. Yep. <laughs> And I'll throw out uh, my channel divinity sphere thing, and I'll get 10 temporary hit points. That's my turn. Erebel. Oh, dear, I don't even know what I can do. Huh? Yeah. yeah, I guess I'm just going to try and Eldritch Blast. 
the hag. Does 16 hit? Yes. Okay. 21 damage? No, no, that was one force damage and then the second bolt ah, 21 hit. Yep. Okay, so five damage total. Done. Okay. Strix. Okay. Um. Five is more. Two arrows. Since you are firing arrows, you can can't see her fully. She is behind three quarter cover. Just so you know. Three quarter cover. So what does that mean? She gets a bonus to her AC. Not really. Mm. Yeah, um, I don't think there's a lot we can do to break those cages. Especially if the house is moving. So she's gone here, yeah. Well, I'm hoping we can break... Like, I'm standing here with a Molotov in my hand, looking at this <laughs> wooden house on roots, and just thinking, if we just get the ravens off it... Alright. I will... fire one arrow at it. Hit. 20, 40. Hit. Uh, uh, um, there was a baby inside that thing, wasn't there? You did see a baby, yes. Yep. Angelic child, I believe the thing was. It's open to perception. Mm -hmm. And, uh... How easy is it for me to get inside this thing? Oh, you would need to probably run up the roots because it is off the ground now because it is walking on them, basically. Mm -hmm. The house is above the roots. Dexterity to climb up the roots and get inside, yeah. Uh, you want a range on? Yeah. Uh, although you do get a second shot, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yep. I will... Yeah, might as well just shoot her again. Does not hit. Okay. Ah. And then disengage. Yep. Well, you don't need to disengage. I don't disengage. I hide. What's hide? You can hide, definitely. Hide. So, Ben, can I move? Well, I can move now, can't I? Yeah. I can just run up the. Can I run up the uh, leg? And then kind of leap into yep. the. Yep. Give us a dexterity throw as well. Okay. <clears throat> uh, saving throw, dexterity. Seven. <laughs> you say they're quite doubtful. Um, well, um, should it have been an acrobatics for running up a... Yeah, yeah definitely hard. acrobatics would have been better. Uh, oh, I don't know, got, can I... Can I change that? Yeah, if you've got acrobatics, use that. Yep. Yeah, okay. No, I'm not much freaking better. You get in, but you stumble on your way in. Okay. Floor. Uh, I'm in. So you're down, but you're inside. Okay. Uh. Okay. Um, baby Liscar points at Liriamus. Um, a bright streak of fire comes straight towards you. Well, considering that we're like, you know, balancing on the same yeah. skull. <laughs> Make a range spell attack against the target. I don't play enough spellcasters. I need to do this more. <laughs> um, where's the spell cast? <clears throat> Ish. Ugh. 12 doesn't hit. Nope. You're right bloody well in front of her. 
That's just silly. I don't understand that. Well, I mean, if you're just trying to use a ranged attack at point blank range while yeah. they're wrestling, mm. it may just shoot off to the side randomly. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. She's done. Okay, the creeping hut is going to oh. attack Joska on the ground. If right the cut is a creature within 15 feet of you, it has to take some damage from uh, Spirit Guardians. Yep. Uh, wisdom 16 saving throw? Wisdom. From walking house? Fails. 16 radiant damage. 16 damage. Done. And then, yeah, I can give you. 13 for the first hit. 14? 13. Doesn't hit, does it? Uh, no, it doesn't hit. No. Next attack. The root. 30 to hit. 30! Is a number that hits me, yes. <laughs> what? Uh, that was the wrong roll. Let's try Is that a crit? crit? No. Uh, 24 bludgeoning damage. That was oh. not a crit. <laughs> okay, I think 24 damage. Well, to my health in the game, so it's easy to see. Four. Oh, ten ten health. Lyriamus, you're on board. Yeah. The skull. I am going to with a naked lady. Try to wrestle. So mm -hmm. try to you know, grapple and gain hold up. Yep. I think it's grapple, but I think there is. Something you can do him basically. Yeah, you can shove, which is. Okay, you take the attack action. You would only make one attack instead of your multiple ones. But. You go. Yeah, it's an attack, and if you hit. No, you don't make a roll. Yeah, you make an athletics check contested with the target's athletics or acrobatics, whichever they want, and if you win, you can either knock her prone or push her five feet, which will probably knock her off the skull. Yeah. Okay, well, let's do that. Okay. Go off the skull. Was it a strength check as well? Same thing. Um, no. it's, it's... Tim rolls athletics, and you roll either athletics or acrobatics, whichever you want. Okay. 53. 21. She failed. Yes. Okay. Off the skull! You're pushing her off? Yep, going off the skull, and... Do I go down after her? Or... Like, what's the name of this town? Perez. It's up to you. Shut up. This is Perez! <laughs> <laughs> okay, she falls back to the ground. Uh, any impact on landing from falling? Oh, yeah, it's not that far. She's fine. She's not that yeah. frail. <laughs> would this be a time to action surge? I, I think, think it would, would be. be. Sorry. <coughs> but yes, I'll action, action surge. <coughs> Jump down. And it, it, did she land prone? Uh, does it state that in the thing? Uh, well, well I'd say she would. Fall, she's just yeah. kind of unexpected fall 15 feet. Yeah, I'd say she would be. Up to you. Yeah. That makes sense. She's not a cat. <laughs> and she's all slippery. So she's landed um, prone. Yep. I'm going to jump down with that action surge and grapple her on the ground. Okay. So she's stuck on the ground. Mm -hmm. so, well, so I, 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 I try to grapple her and keep her prone, essentially. Okay. And that will be my turn. Well, grapple is now your athletics check against her athletics or acrobatics. Mm-hmm. 
And she beat you by one. So she's still prone, but she's not grappled. Come on, I didn't get an advantage because she's already she's prone and I'm trying. <laughs> no. You get advantage on the attack. Well, I thought yeah, my attack yeah. was my attack's trying to grapple though to keep them. Mm. Does that count or not? No. I don't think so. Where's the rules for? Prone and movement crawl has a disadvantage on attack rolls. An attack roll against Grudger has advantage. Uh, but it wasn't an attack roll. You yeah. were making a advantages on attack. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe she just jumped down the sword first and hacked that over. Well, she's on the ground now. Also, <laughs> try to grapple her while she's also on the ground. But yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Oh, and I'm within range of uh, Jessica giving me and hit points. Yep. Right? That's ten. Oh, is it not? ten or yeah, is that still? Uh, is that any actual healing or is it just straight ten? It's just ten temporary hit points. No healing. Okay. Jessica. Great. So she's on the ground, right? Mm-hmm. I guess I'll try to grab her. Sorry, I'm just working on spirit guns. So I'm there to do damage. Okay, hold on. Uh, and it's just passive, but it's concentration. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to grapple her for my action. Is it just a no? It's athletics, right? Athletics or athletics? Yep. yep. No, no, it's athletics to attack. But they can avoid it either. Uh, four. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Um, Is there a better way to do this? Um, she beat you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're all trying to it's... wrestle with this naked lady on the ground. It's not going well for you. Yeah, she's kind of slippery. <laughs> okay, I have a. Bonus action? I'm going to summon a spiritual weapon and attack her with it. Yep. Oh, you're Is that a concentration spell? No, it's not one Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, uh, ten oh, damage. Right. That is correct. Fifteen. Fifteen hits. Great. Uh, ignore that. That roll. I did six, six damage. Six damage. Six damage. Four damage. Okay. And then on, on, on her turn. turn. Wait, Wait, she just had a turn, didn't she? Yeah, just before. Okay, I'm gonna deal her uh, eight radiant damage if she makes doesn't make a wisdom saving throw sixteen. Wisdom. Um, she rolled an eighteen. She's good. Right, she gets four radiant damage. Okay, she's not looking too healthy now. Okay, uh, I get ten ten hit points. That's my turn. Okay, round. What round are we on? Um, round three. Okay. You hear from the other side of the hut a thunder wave spell go off. And then a second one in concussion right after that. Okay. What's the damage on them? Um, 2d8 thunder damage, constitution saving throw. Failed one of them. Ten damage. Hey, Strix. Okay. Um. Oh, actually, Strix is inside, aren't you? I'm Let inside. Me Give us a constitution saving throw. <laughs> okay. Ten. It's a fail. Now uh, take ten thunder damage. You hear oh, it come what? through the window and just hit you. Through the window? I thought I'd be protected inside. <laughs> I thought I'd be more protected than anyone else. <laughs> the whole house is getting blasted. 
Okay. okay. Um, ten. Okay. okay. All good. Um, what, what is, is inside, inside here? here? I, I can't, can't see anymore because, because I've got the big marker on top of me. Uh, let me bring um, it back up. Hot do interior. Um, did we miss you? You had a turn. Yeah, I think I go off to Jobs Club, don't I? Yeah. Didn't you go? No. Um, yeah. Okay, it should be you then. Okay, I guess I'll run forward, forward to where these people are trying to grab the old woman and I'll just start stabbing with my ice blade. Okay. They're all trying to grab her and you just come in stabbing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if, if I can, can pin her to the, the ground... Huh? Bring her in place. Hits. Uh, okay, great. Uh, so that's seven pieces of damage and a second attack. You should have Hits. advantage because she's primed as well, by the way. Oh, yes. right. Um, we'll, we'll call that my first attack advantage in this one. Molly, you can't be. 21 hits. I'll take 21. Further 9 pieces of damage. Yep. With my magic sword. Well, icicle, but yeah. Okay. Strix. Alright. Um, so, what's in here? Okay. Let me bring up the description. The hut is 15 feet on the side and packed with old furniture. Including a wooden cot, a wicker cabinet, a slender wardrobe, a wooden wooden table, a stool, a barrel-topped wooden chest, reinforced with brass bands, and an iron stained with a iron tub stained with blood. In the middle of the room is a ghastly wooden crib with a small angelic child sitting in it. And they're all bolted to the floor, so obviously they haven't moved anywhere. Um, and you see a green light coming up between the cracks below the crib. Alright, um, I grabbed the kid. Yep. Uh, and I jump, jump out, out of the house. Jump out of the house. Oh, and I, 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 I do I have a Molotov? I got a Molotov. Do I? Mm -hmm. I uh, light, light the Molotov, toss it in the, the corner, corner, grab, grab the, the kid, kid and jump, jump out. out. Okay. <laughs> Since you're carrying the kid as well, give us an athletics roll getting out of there. Mm -hmm. So you don't crush the kid or anything. Athletics, athletics or acrobatics? Acrobatics. <clears throat> okay. No problems, you get out just fine. Um, Molotov, where was that? I had that open still. Nope. What was the damage I said for that? Uh, I think it was the D8 by damage, but you know, this is a yep. inside of a large thing. Yeah, one day at fire damage has to make a dexterity saving throw, but it's inside. <laughs> it's already hit. It's on fire. The cottage is on fire at least. Mm -hmm. Roll for damage. Me? Yep. Uh, one day, yeah. Yep. Five. Five damage. And it is on fire now. I assume that's a kind of a slow-mo shot of me, you know, cool mode running out of out of the door frame while everything kind of explodes behind me. Yeah. The kid under my arm. Okay. Maybe let's go. How does that help? Yep. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, where is she? She's on the ground and surrounded by three people stabbing her and trying to kill her. Oh, two of them are just trying to grab her. Yeah. Okay, it was Liriamus first. So she's going to point at Liriamus. Okay, it's 20 foot radius. She will get hit as well by the looks. Let's save. Everyone make a constitution save, please. Including me? Um, 5, 10. Yes, you as well. Everyone. Even the swarm of ravens. Oh dear. Let's see. Fail, fail, fail. Strix passed. So it's half damage on a pass. D8. 24 total poison damage. I'm dead. 24. And the fog is staying present in that area. 20 foot ride, 20 foot high. How much poison damage you say? 24? 24. I had an hour pass, so I got half, yeah? Yep. Oh, cool. Um, although, yeah, basically, this cloud goes out, I get hurt, and I explode the snowflakes and disappear. Okay. And I'm, gonna, I'm using my Misty Escape thing from... Basically, I take damage, I can use my reaction to teleport 30 feet and turn invisible. So I teleport... <laughs> Inside the house, I know it's on fire, but uh, and is that going to take me outside of the cloud? How far is it going? Uh, I can go thirty feet, but uh, so yep, twenty feet from this. Yeah, so basically, yeah, I'm inside. Okay, that's on the house that's on fire. At the moment, okay. yes. Yep. All right, um, and it's also heavily obscured. You cannot see in the area anymore. In the fog cloud. Okay. Okay. Hut's turn. It's attacking Joska. Got to make a wisdom save. Sixteen. Wisdom. Failed. Thirteen Three. damage. Okay. Seventeen to hit. That does not hit, actually. And the next attack misses as well. Very Um. Hmm. So can I still see her because she's directly in front of me? And then she's still running. Should she get up or not? Somewhat heavily obscured. Everything's at disadvantage and. You need to, it's in you staying in the cloud. Um, I mean, if I stay in the cloud, what happens? It's at the start well, of your turn, you take more damage. Um, yeah, it's poison gas. Yeah. 5d8. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to. Constitution saving throw. You're in the turn when it's starting. Not that I could escape it. Um. Oh, when do I get that bonus uh, hit points from Joska? End of the turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, constitution saving throw. Yep. 12. Where is it? That's a fail. Okay, so how much damage do I take? Uh, 35 poison damage. What? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah I, I, that puts me at like negative 20. That's a lot. <laughs> at least that's not over your total hit points. No, it, it is not, but I'm unconscious. Okay. Joska. So how big is this cloud? 20 by 20. Okay. Uh, do I have to roll at the start of my turn? Yes, you're inside the cloud. How much Constitution again? saving throw. Twenty. That's a pass. You're fine. It's only half damage. 
comic of it. It's still um, good. Which is 11. 11, okay. I lose my 10. Can I take 10? I'm on 20. Uh, I'm, so it's heavily obscured, is that right? Heavily. Which means it is very dark, because I can't see anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use a bonus action to do steps of twilight uh, and walk 20 feet upwards uh, above the cloud. Yep. Okay, uh, I can't... S Everyone's in the cloud, right? Like, Strix is in the cloud. Yep. I get you out. <laughs> Same with the Ready? ravens. And so before I go, before I leave, I'm going to take a step to where I remember Strix was. Um, like, reach around on the ground. Can I find him? Like, bumble into him. Who, Strix? Yeah. You got in, He's inside the hut. I thought he jumped out. Oh, he did too, yeah. He just hasn't moved his character. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming he's down here with the child in his arms. But he's unconscious, is that right? Yeah. Well, isn't, isn't that there, like, out of the... Out of the... Yep. Yeah. Uh, the like, I, I just jumped... It. Oh, okay, so it's like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I, thought I saw Strix jump out of the... Yep. Hot, yeah. out of the mountain, <laughs> and then the poison cloud came out. Hmm. So then I'm going to go to where I think I saw him and try to look for him. Try, yep. to, try and find him. Okay. Can I? Give us a perception roll. Alright. These are pretty good usually. 22. You find him. No issues Great. there. Uh, I'm going to... Can I pick him up? That's oh. pretty light, right? <laughs> Both of them? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and, then, and then I will walk 20 feet up past the gas. So I'm going to try and bring all three of us out of the poison gas. Okay. Like floating, excellent. Uh, and then my spell will be aid. So, second level spell, cost aid. Uh, three people within range get five hit points and five temporary hit points. So, I'm gonna give Strix 10, myself 10, and then the arm is 10. Yay! How's that baby looking? How many temporary hit points? Oh, you get five real and five temporary. Okay. So heal for five and then gain five temporary on top of that. Okay. And then into my turn, I'm going to get ten temporary points, which overrides the five. So I just have ten temporary points because they do not stack. That's my turn. Okay. All right. And Strix, you can just like stand on me. I'll like plank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to surf board. <laughs> Okay, which, you are, split, which way did you guys go? Just so you move your character so I know where you are. Yeah. You're currently still inside the gas cloud. Who is? All of you, you're just standing there. Oh no, I moved up. I flew above it. Oh, you're yeah, above it. Okay. Yeah, so Strix and I should be above it. 5, 10, 10, 20. Strix, I, and the child are above it. Okay. I don't have to indicate verticality. It's actually wider than that. Um, go down to there. There we go. Okay, Erebol. Okay, so... Uh, does it start my turn? Yeah. Alright, so I'm no longer invisible. But, so how on fire is this house? Uh, lightly. It's not too bad. Uh, you will I'm be taking fire damage, actually. Um, you're inside. All right, well, in that case, so all the furniture is bolted to the ground. That includes the bathtub? Yes. Yeah, but is there, like, a bucket or a cauldron or something I could grab? Bucket or a cauldron? Yeah. Okay, um, I just basically... Yeah, she would have blood. Her. Yep, I scoop blood out of the bathtub and throw it on the fire. Like, no. try and put it out. Okay. As you're doing so, you do take um, 1d8 fire damage. All right. Which is two, two fire damage. Huge. Okay. Using your action to put it out, and you have no issues putting the fire out with the blood. It's quite thick okay. blood. Um, and if I'm able to, while I'm looking around, I'm trying to look under the crib where that light is coming from. Yep. It's like to look like the floorboards. Is there a trap door or an easy way to get through the floorboards? Negative. I can't do it. Okay, so it just looks like there's something under them that 
there's another way around there, or I'd have to just punch straight through floorboards. Yep. Okay. Okay, that's your turn. Where are we? Around. Okay. What are these guys doing? Where'd my page go for them? Right there. Okay. Uh, make us a constitution saving throw, Arabelle. As you hit with the thunder again. Oh, okay. How much damage? Uh, 14 thunder damage. Okay. Give us another constitution saving throw as another one comes through. Is this coming from the actual house? No. Southwest oh. from where you guys are at the moment. It's another fail. Something else is attacking us? For 12 thunder oh, damage. Mm. Now the house needs um. to make them saving throws. Um. Pass and a fail. And so I'm probably really going to regret this, but so this is thunder waves that were hitting me and I failed the save. Correct. Does that mean I get knocked a distance or? Yeah. Um. Oh, dear. Out of the fire. Well, the fire's out. Yeah. And it's pushed 10 feet away. Oh, so is that... Uh, so it's from the south house, is that into this yeah. corner? You just or? get pushed into the corner, yeah. Okay, good. Not out of you the house. You won't take any damage, <laughs> that's fine. Right. Uh, am I inside this twilight healing bubble? Uh, 30 feet, you should be. Yes. I can't yeah, you would be. Yeah. So I, I can has... Ten hit points. <laughs> <laughs> um, strict. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, me. Mhm. Mm okay. Uh, can I see the old witch? It's heavily obscured. So how would that go if I wanted to? But can I make her out, or is it just like I, I literally can't see? It can make quiet. figures out. Yes, it would be a disadvantage to hit anything in there. Alright. Um. <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah, I'll give her a hit. Uh, two, isn't it? And then lowest is again. Mm -hmm. Disadvantage. Fifteen. It's a, it's a hit actually. I think. Um, a hit. Uh huh. Nice. What do you think it hits? <laughs> Six piercing. Five. Yep. Plus five. Um. I will cast in staring strike on this next arrow. Okay. Uh, one. Strength um, save. Hang on, I'm gonna hit it first. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Four. <laughs> two. Yeah. <laughs> that hits. So what does in staring no. strike do? Okay, hang on. Gosh. Throw it up on there for you. I think that's the DC 14 strength save she has to make. Yeah, 14 strength save. Yep, so just does damage. Uh, that's it. No, pins her. Pins her, okay. Um, hang on. <coughs> How do I send it over to there? Oh, just click on it. Oh, it's not letting me do it. Cast it. Oh, display in VTT. Oh, so she's restrained. I can't tell. I can't. 
So select it so it pops up in the little side panel inside of D&D. Oh yeah, okay. In this way. Oh, Sorry. There you go. Yeah. Uh, uh, I already did that. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, so, yeah, drink for day the 14. No, yeah, 14. Yep. Okay, excellent. No problems. Did you say? No, she failed. Just took oh, she failed? Yeah. So now you're ping plus. Do I do another six? Well, she takes, ten? yeah, d6 damage. Yeah. And is your hunter's mark still on her? Yes. So you still get that? Oh, okay. Yep. So two of those. Oh, wait, no. I guess it's a bonus. Oh. No, you don't have hunter's strike. Hunter's mark, sorry. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good mind. So minus that four. Okay. Um, but all the other damage is good. Don't and so she's... And she's pink. Yeah, she's restrained, which means her movement's zero, um, attack rolls have advantage, and her attacks have disadvantage, and she has disadvantage on deck saves. Okay. Plus she's still in that fog, yeah? Yeah. Cloud, yeah. Yep. There you go. Okay. Stay there, dude. It's her turn. Let's do a constitution saving throw. And a wisdom saving throw, please. Sorry? And a wisdom saving throw, please. A wisdom? From uh, Spirit Guardians. Spirit Guardians. How many effects is she on? <laughs> Stack of evils. Um, she failed that. 20 radiant damage. damage. Okay. She's not looking good, but you can't really see her. Mm. So you do see the green mist basically turns a tinge of silver. Well, that happens, you see the floating skull fly about 60 feet away from you. So she's dead? No. <laughs> can we see her on the skull? Correct, you can. So she's riding. She away. teleported. So what's with this silver mist? Oh, whatever. I mean, you can go inside and find out. <laughs> <laughs> it is gone now. The silver mist. <laughs> so, whereabouts is, uh, has she gone? 60 feet to the east and slightly in the air, so. She was already 10 feet in the sky, 10, 15 feet. Okay, it's the creeping hut's turn. It's going to attack Strix. Oh, wisdom saving throw, please. Wisdom. Failed. 15 radiant damage. Done. Attacking Strix. <clears throat> 18 oh, to hit. 10, hit. 10 hit points from your last turn, by the way. Sorry, what was that? At the end of your turn, you got 10 temporary hit points. Oh, okay. Which you're probably going to lose now. Uh, 36 bludgeoning damage. Not do it. It's a yeah, Strix. that kill me. Wait, wait, wait. Like Oscar like a surfboard. <laughs> what are you using here? I'm going to try and lower that. I, I'm gonna do a, you know, block some of that on Strix. Let me try uh, first. You uh, conscious you him? disadvantage. Yeah, oh. I, I'm awake. I've got ten, five, five real hit points, ten temporaries. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and give him disadvantage on that attack. Okay, gotcha. I have to re-roll. Yep. Twenty-five to hit. Okay, yeah, we'll that's yeah. Okay, well, in that case, I will soak. Well, actually, how much health does Strix have? Like 15, I think. I've got uh, 13 <clears throat> normal, 15 temp. Okay, well, I'll. 10 temp. Yeah, 10 temp. Oh, I that's soak girl. enough of that for you. Like helped? Eleven. That's good. Cool. I don't it's think max that helped. So at the moment. Okay, and so temporary hit points are only ten. Yeah, only ten. They, they don't stack. If you get five and then you get ten, you only have ten. Okay, so ten and thirteen, so eleven. That's twenty-five damage got... still. How much was the um? Thirty-six. Blood. Yeah. Well, I'm... Yeah. Well, I'm still dead. No. <laughs> Doesn't matter. 
So even though he's like 21. Yeah. Okay. Still oh, hang on, I, you soaked 21 all up. Yeah, we soaked 20 between your temporary hit points and uh, the immediate soak that I did. That Which was 11. Yeah. yeah. And then. So on your full, on your actual hit points, do you have 15 or less? I have 13. 13. And then, yeah, you're unconscious. Yeah. Okay. Second attack is hitting Joska. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 22 to hit. Uh, that hits. Let me see. Oh, I've used my reaction. I can't do anything. Yeah, it just hits me. 30 bludgeoning damage. That is exactly how much health I have. I'm also on good. Okay, it's done. Um, Liriam's turn. Do I? So I'm going to fall to the ground about 20 feet. So I probably take like a death saving throw, right? Because I'm taking damage when I hit the ground. Oh, uh, you're already dead? No. Don't worry about it. Okay. Plus you're in the poison cloud. So. Is the poison cloud still there? Yeah. Fuck. I haven't... Did I get moved out of the poison cloud by Joska? No, oh, I couldn't. No. And I'm still in the poison cloud. So I'm going to be out. Constitution saving throw? Uh, I've 10 hit points. Yeah, even half. <laughs> no. Was it 5d8s? It's 18 poison damage. Oh, uh, actually, I might be able to... Okay. No, 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 I, I've got 10 total. That's a fail. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try. If I pass, I'll have one point. Wait, uh, Silver Bombs gives you advantage on that roll. So try and try and save again, maybe. Probably That's not. a fail. <laughs> okay, well, I'm unconscious. That makes three of us. It's all up to you, everyone. Okay, that was Larry Armstrong. So Joska's turn. Uh, death saving turn. Yeah. Yep. Where is that button? What is that button? Death saving turn. Should be near the hit oh. points. I'm just gonna roll twenty. So uh, ten or below is fail. Uh, one. That's one a fail. Erebol. Okay. Uh, well, I'm. Oh, uh, it's a bonus action. She's almost dead. Maybe you could finish her off with the needles in slow time. Uh, how far away from me is she? 65, 70, 75, 80 feet. 80 feet? Yeah, Roughly. I can't read. Well, I could. And it'd be disadvantaged because you're looking through the poisonous cloud at the moment. Mm. But she was a mother of white in this clan. Wind, no? She so, is. Yeah, you know what? I'm but Erebel's view is not. Door. I'm going to use my natural Eladrin teleportation. To... Yep. I just out here, outside the poison cloud. Okay. And damn it, I had plans, but I guess I gotta. You know... <clears throat> Well, she's in range for Eldritch Blast, so... Hits. Does not hit. Uh, I, I guess that's all I can do. Okay. I... yeah. Double blast or? Yeah, I shot twice. I missed with one of them. What does she have? <laughs> what? Probably a lot. See, I was gonna try to retrieve that gem from inside the house and get out of it, but I realised that wasn't really gonna work. Yeah. Okay, so who's still up on the east side here? No one, except for Arabo. Okay. So you don't see these people. But... No, but I knew I had to get out of the house because it kept getting blasted. But... <laughs> 
Okay, so you see a huge gust of wind comes out of nowhere and pushes the poison cloud away. Yay. Yay. This one's firing off another thunder wave at the house. Constitution saving through. Damage. And it passed. Okay. Strix. Death saving through, please. I think it's near the hit points for memory. So mm -hmm. fail and success in this case. How do I roll? Is that a pass? Ten? I think that's a pass. Yeah, I think that's a pass. Oh. Okay. Okay. Liska's turn and she rockets another 60 feet away for a total of 120 feet roughly from Liriamas. She's in the distance, gone. Edge. And now it's the hut's turn. Um, it's moving to attack the druids. Hits. One of the druids are down. Liriamus. Uh, death save. Uh, it's a pass? Yep, that was a pass. Joska. Death save. Pass. Erival. Alright, I'm um, going to fire a beam at the hut because it looks like it's just smashing people with brute strength, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I fire a beam that puts the chill of the grave into it and slows it down. Um, no, I need to roll the head. Uh, 15? Does a 15 hit the hut? Does not hit. Oh no. Um. I'll, uh, quietly stay back here, <laughs> I guess. Okay. That's my spell slot's gone. Strix. They're saving through. Oh, he's not present? Jason, Hi. he is. Yeah. I'm all good. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So, what was going on? Like? Depth saving throw for you. Yeah. It's a pass. Baby Liska's turn. She rockets another 60 feet away for a total of 180 feet. As soon as she does, the house stops moving. Just stuck in place. <sighs> and we might as well end combat there. Very good. Yeah. Not dead yet. The druids come over, heal you, resurrect you. After oh. he's healed his own. You do recognise these druids as the two that you released. That's good. I run into the house. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I look. Um, I guess does she have like a cleaver or something like in the kitchen or? Um, yes, she would. Yep. I I start trying to chop my way through the floorboards because I don't have my spell anymore that I could have helped, thought could have helped with that. Okay. 
Sure, um, you break through the floorboards pretty easily. Okay, cool. What's causing that glow? The gem. I'm going to pocket that. Okay. If at all possible. And then sure. walk outside to see how everyone's going. <laughs> yep. Pocket a gem. Done. I'm going in back in the house as well because I saw that there was the uh, the chest. <laughs> that you did. Hold up, no. While you get up, I'm going to say uh, we should get the ravens loose if they're still alive. Okay. I'll start prying that open with my... Uh... I'm checking the inside sink there's a key. Oh, yeah. Cannot find a key? No key? No keys. Okay, can I pry open the chest in here and see if there's a key in there? Yep, you can try open the chest. Okay. Uh, strength, I guess. Uh, no, it opens pretty easily. It's not closed, but you do take thunder damage as soon as you try to open it. Let me roll. You take 19 thunder damage opening it. Uh, any save to half it? Or? No, it's just straight. <laughs> Standing right in front of it. Okay, got to use Mage Hand to open it. <laughs> Don't use you... Mage Hand to check the things and move things out of the way. For one time we forget. <laughs> you do find inside 1,300 gold pieces, five 500 gold piece gemstones, a vial containing oil of sharpness, two spell scrolls of mass cure wounds and revivify, pouch containing 10 plus 1 sling bullets, a set of pipes of haunting, and a stone of good luck. That all sounds very good. Can you write that down for us? Yeah, I'll put it in Discord for you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. So of good luck. Uh, curious to what that does. Can I... Just finishing up. A tune with that? As you might What was that? Yeah. I would like to investigate the stone of good luck to work out what it... How does it provide good luck? What does it do? Um, question. Yep. Yeah. Should we... No. Free the people we came here to free first, though, before we start yeah, going through all the point. stuff you found. Correct. Okay. Stone of good luck, adventuring gear, wondrous item. Yeah. Seal. Saving throw plus one, ability checks plus one. That's so good. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the cave and try to free. Yep. Free the guys. What was that? Okay, you broke down one chest, or one of the cages, no problems. Yay. And the second one as well. As soon as you free them, they fly around for a bit and come and land next to you and morph back into humans. You do see the two brothers standing there. Also, where did that baby end up? Oh, my bad. As soon as um, their hut stopped moving, the baby disappeared as well, the kid. Disappeared. Disappeared. Hmm. Gotta kill the kid. Yeah, I thought it was a good kid. They said angelic. Yeah, no. I should go with my goblin instincts. Just, just kill the baby. Just kill everything. Yeah. Kill everything. Eat everything. I need to get more goblin. So the druids walk forward and heal the were ravens as well. So we're back up to full health. Yeah, everyone's good. No problems. Okay. And noting the time, I think we should leave it there and you can explore the area next session. Yeah, that's you. Great, that was good. But yeah, that was awesome. I'd probably suggest we uh, set the cabin on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I well, I already did that, and then it had stuff in it we needed. Yeah, but you could have sifted through the ashes. Uh, what, what's the gem gonna do? You can't burn a gem. We don't know that, especially with magic. It'll be fine. Yeah, but I'm interested in seeing what these magic items do and how we split them up. Hmm. Anyway, we've got a bail, so... Yeah, we'll do it. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you, it was good. Thank you.